Well, hello everyone. How are you doing? It is Wednesday. I am super pumped up. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm doing pretty well. I see you in here. Rosa, thank you for hanging out in the chat. M Walker, Visa Cherry. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Lowdown Gaming, I see you over there in the chat. Hello. Uh, Trinary Guru, woo, made it in time for the beginning. Hello, Jason and everyone. Hello, Trinary Guru. Greetings and salutations from uh, Todd Long, guys. I'm having a good day. And it was made even better because I have my Dr. Pepper with me. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> Hello, Steve McNeely. Hey, hopefully you're having a good day. Now, guys, we are playing a new game. And I say new game, it's kind of an old style of game, but it's new. It just released. It is called Outlast or Outcast A New Beginning. Outcast A New Beginning. So we're going to be jumping into that today. It is a single player RPG. It's a retro RPG. So think of like mid mid 2000s. We're talking like Mass Effect. It feels very, very good. Like, very much like a Mass Effect. Like a Mass Effect 1, maybe a Mass Effect 2 kind of scenario. So think about that. Like, that kind of mindset way back in the day, you know, 15 years ago, RPG. 20 years ago, almost at this point. Oh, God. 20 years ago, RPG. It, it, it The voice acting is there, but it's not great. Again, just like mid-2000s RPG. And before I forget, James... Member for 36 months, dude. Very much appreciated. Saying, hey, Jason, the man, the myth, the legend. Oh, yes. And Steve as well. Steve McNeely, member for 18 months. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you. Ooh. Got to gotta open up my, uh, my lungs here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Let me fire up this game. So I will say the game, it is not the most beautiful game. The voice acting is not like the best. However... It also has a lot of performance issues, <laughs> so it is not not perfectly optimized. I am going to be playing on PC. I think it's out on Xbox and PlayStation as well, but I'm playing on PC and I had to turn down my settings just because the game and it and the reason why, you know, it's not optimized is that the world itself is fine. You get into a city, all of a sudden it tanks hard, so it, there's going to be bug fixes for sure. I played a little bit. I played for probably the first half hour. I'm really, really digging it. Again, it gives me like original Mass Effect vibes a lot. And I really, really like it. And this game is actually a sequel to one that came out in the 90s. So if you look for Outcast game, there are old games that came out in like 98, 99. So we're talking 20, 25 years ago. And so it's kind of a sequel. What I've heard is it's kind of a sequel, kind of like a remake. There are some pieces that they just lifted right from those old games. I'm excited to jump in. I can't wait to see what's going on here, but let's switch over to the game. That way you guys can see it as well. There it is. Well, hopefully. There it is. So there it is. You're really selling it spawns, dude. I. This is my wheelhouse. I love the really like mid-tier, like don't get me wrong. Witcher 3, amazing game. You know, modern RPGs are really, really good, but I love the cheesiness and the um, the focus on gameplay versus the voice acting is not the best. The, uh, the gameplay is kind of like, you know, okay, it's a little bit rough here and there, but overall, the, the style, the, the, the theme behind it, I'm really liking this game. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I know I'm talking about it instead of showing you guys. I did play for about half an hour, so I haven't gotten too deep in the game. We're going to start a brand new game, though, so we're not even going to start from where I left off. We're actually going to start a brand new, fresh save so you guys can see it from the beginning. And then, uh, M. Walker, before I get too deep into it, M. Walker, thank you for being a member for 21 months. Freaky day, man. Thanks for your upbeat, fun streams. Well, thank you for watching, M. Walker. Story? Oh, dude. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. Oh, seven. Hello, Heather. I didn't see you earlier. You probably probably missed you. Hello, Heather. Jason loves camp. The heck you say? Yeah, dude. I'm into it. If it's cheesy, as long as the gameplay itself is really good. And I think for the most part, it's good. It's not too complicated, but it's also not too simple. 
It's not just a run gun shooter. It's actually, you know, it has RPG elements. There's equipment. There's things you could do with it. So I like it. Those old style RPGs had great storylines most of the time. You dude. It, I'm not, you know, when I say the voice acting is bad, I'm not saying the writing is bad. It's just, you know, you give a line to somebody and hopefully they say it, you know, in a in a convincing manner. And like me, I'm not a voice actor. You don't want to hire me for your game. <laughs> so I wouldn't hire me anyway. So let's go into our settings. I'm going to show you guys what we got here. So I have it set to 60 frames because that's all we can stream at. But then I have it set to a medium quality. I had it set to a high and it still kind of got a little bit jittery. So I, I turned it down to medium and that seems to be pretty well. Pretty good. You know, but you can customize, you can jump in here and do all your up sampling and all that kind of stuff if you'd wish. It also has controller support, and controller support is very, very good. Again, I mean I am playing on a PC, so sometimes controller support is hit or miss depending on the game. <laughs> most games, like especially if it's from a big studio, most games are pretty solid. You go to a smaller studio, sometimes not so much. And this game is really, really good. Hey, people, hope you're having a, uh, well, hello, Jason. Oh, well, d dude, Gek, I, I think you might like this game. I know that everyone, like, I, I talked to, like, uh, Beeble Bum and, and everyone, they're like, are you playing this? Are you playing that? They're like, look, dude, I only got room for, like, a couple of games. What is wrong with you? I love playing everything. So I'm like a squirrel. If there's some really cool new shiny game, I'll play that for a little while, and I'll bounce off. Like, I need to go back to Pal World. I need to go back to, like, Nightingale, Enshrouded. I just bounce around because I love playing all this stuff. So, I will bounce all over the place. Let's go to new game. Now, they have a story mode, which is basically, like, super easy. Basically, you're just there to, to go along with the story if you want. We're going to be playing on normal. That way, I feel like most people play on normal. They don't go hard to begin with. Maybe you do, but I, I usually play everything set to normal. Whatever the normal difficulty is considered. All right, and I'll try to be quiet during cutscenes. I'm blind. Oh, my God. I'm at Ivory Retinas. How? Where am I? I... I can't feel... anything. Where's my... Hey! Let me go! <laughs> That's a good start to a game. And I will say the thing that that does drive me crazy, and I hope that they patch it, the game plays at 60 frames per second. All the cutscenes are at 30 frames. And I'm like, oh! It drives me crazy because that transfer, whenever you, you're playing and then it goes to a cutscene, it just drops your frame rate. And then you go back up, so you get the jitteriness of it. So hopefully they patch it out to where it goes back to 60 frames no matter what. But all the cutscenes, like this are in 30 frames. So you'll notice a little bit of jitteriness during, like, after, immediately before and after a cutscene, it'll be a little jittery, but that's the frame rate. They've locked it. <laughs> Not me, them. A little dinosaur. Okay. So I just got sucked up and thrown here drop like that sure should feel like a million bucks and yet I kind of do so it feels good sneeze <laughs> hey old explorer hopefully you're doing well man on us Wednesday any landing you can walk away from think, yeah, exactly say, think what's the mission soldier okay don't panic Jumping dimensions is supposed to fry half of your brain. So movement feels really, really good, really solid. Later on, you get more movement abilities. So like right now, this is like the tutorial area. So you I kind of recognize this place. Damn it! Maybe some fresh air will jumpstart my synapses. Protagonist talks to themselves a lot. Now, not too much, but I think you can probably tone that down. I wonder, is there an actual option for that? Let me look. Can I tone down the, uh, I can't. What about maybe under gameplay? Um, text language, voice language, subtitles, difficulty, aim assistance. Okay, so there's nothing to 
turn down the amount of time he talks to himself. I know some games do. Like, I, for instance, I believe I think Horizon Zero Dawn did. Where if you're in a puzzle, she will mention what the answer is. But you can turn that off. Or at least turn it down. So she doesn't mention it, like, after two seconds. Hopefully, maybe they could throw that in here. How can I remember a word like synapses and not the first thing about... Cutscene. Damn. Now that's a change of scenery. Beautiful. Huh. Huh? What the? That doesn't look good. Flying ships. Oh, good lord! Whoa. That's. Someone is taking real heat. I gotta get over there. Oh, you know the way? Huh. <laughs> I am right behind you, little one. Yeah, this little dinosaur thing is gonna help that us out here. some scary alien technology. I hope that ship didn't decimate my unit. What unit are you from? We don't know anything. So there's no, like, dodge? I'm not seeing any dodge. Like, there's, there's a crouch. Am I even on duty at all? Oh, here you go. Jump. <laughs> Tutorial. They're kind of going you through the uh, motions of learning how to play the game. But look at this. Oh, Jesus, my head is splitting. Now, it is not like officially like open, open world. It's more like um, if you think back to Fable, it had open areas. Like it loads up a mini map that has a good okay. amount of area. Focus on but then if you go to a different There's area, no you have to load into a different map. Set a field operative empty handed. Something must have happened before I got here. Okay. But yeah, so they're little chunky maps. So they're like mini maps that you can kind of explore. So it's not full on open world, like like not Witcher or anything like that. Take me to the targeted area, little one. At least I remember how to perform first aid. <laughs> okay. Mm-mm. -mm. I do, Andy. I do. I'm always talking. Locals. I can't I help us. You don't seem to be too badly hurt. I, I don't know. I hope they'll be able to. Whoa. <laughs> Easy now. I come in peace. I assume. You. You speak Aga Come on? Yeah, I was trained to speak 14 languages, but I've never heard of <gasps> oh. All right. I speak Aga Come on. Sure. Yeah. Take off your shirt. What? Say again? <laughs> Show me the Zokrum amulet. Look, uh, you got me confused with someone else. I travel from another dimension, and... Uh, how can I put this simply? You are human. Yes. Good. You're way ahead of me, because <laughs> I don't know what species you are. The Ulukai should know about Talans. So who are you? The name's Slade. Commander Step Cutter Slade. Back, finger monster, or by the yods, I'll make a trophy out of your deformed finger hand. Monster. Okay, no handshakes. I meant it as a friendly gesture. Listen, that word you just said, it's like echoing in my head. Finger monster. <laughs> no, the other one. U Ulukai? I have a feeling we were supposed to meet. The prophecy mentions a human savior returning the Zokrum amulet. You don't seem to know anything about that. Yeah, well, my memory took a momentary hike. What happened with that ship I saw? Invaders have enslaved the Talans and are threatening the land of my ancestors. Without the guidance of the Ulukai, Adalfa is doomed. So we're on Adalfa, huh? Impressive. And it definitely rings a bell. I am Liaz, leader of the Dolotai Guardians. The invaders have just abducted one of my people. If the Yods are on your side, you'll save her. I need proof that you are the Ulukai. I can't remember my mission briefing, so... Fine. Lead the way, Liaz. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna fly away on a bird. Or a pterodactyl. It's very, very Avatar-esque, which I like. Again, early 2000s Avatar, <laughs> you know? If they made a game in like 2005, this would be kind of similar to what it probably would be like. SMO! Thank you for being a member for 12 months. 
Hold a year! Sending all my love to you in chat. Well, thank There's you, SMO. There's no time to waste. My Dolatai guardians have tracked the enemy's ship. The invaders have taken the prisoner into their outpost ahead. May the odds guide your fist, human. This fist? You're not even gonna lend me your spear? I shall not influence the trial. The trial? That's just peachy. Please tell me that these invaders are just going to throw coconuts at me. Reverting bolt of fire shot at lightning speed. Is that what coconuts are? Yeah. <sighs> Not exactly. Nope. <laughs> All right. But I mean, really digging the game. It's kind of... The world is beautiful. And what the... This thing. Can't punch it. Nope. Can't do anything to it. Alright. No melee attack yet. But as you're going around, you can see these little glowing right, things. Let's find this Dolatai Guardian. They say exercise is oh, good Jesus. For brain anyway. Oops. <laughs> Ran into a poison thing. I can use these little fruits to uh heal me. There you go. Good afternoon. Hello, I saw uh, Carmen earlier. Hello, Carmen. Happy hump day to you as well. SMO says, I just got The Witcher 3. It is so fun. Dude, Witcher 3 is so good. It is so good. I'm a big, like, RPG fan. And I will say, this is definitely going to feel like an older game. So, like, all the modern RPGs have all the, uh, like, modern conveniences. This is very old school feeling, which I love. Go back to, you know, playing some, like, uh, Oblivion. Go back and play Fable or Mass Effect, the original Mass Effect. Oh, so good. I love that era of RPGs. And this feels very similar to that kind of era of stuff. <sighs> What's this? I've never seen anything like it. So we have healing uh, fruit that we can grab. Impressive tech. Better be careful. I will say the movement feels better than uh, Mass Effect that I remember. I haven't played Mass Effect in a while, but I remember Mass Effect 1, of re especially, your character felt like a tank. Like, you had forward momentum. This is very, very quick. So, you, you move a little quicker. Yeah, I like it. Well, that's not good. Got dead aliens here. These bots got what was coming to them. Oh, they're bots. Wonder okay. If the Dolatai Guardians took him out. They're robots. That looks like a person. Maybe. Maybe it's a robot. Who am I to judge? Lurky! Thank you, Carmen. I appreciate you. The original Outcast came out in the 90s. I'm glad they didn't decide to advance it too much since it. Exactly, Curios! It has that feel to it. Now, it looks better. It's crisper, all that kind of stuff. The textures are more modern. Not, like, realistic, like, it's not Witcher level of, you know, Witcher 3 levels of graphics, but it looks pretty dang good. You know. A living thing here. I wonder what these invaders look like. What is this? It's really good. I like it. Nope, armor. He just slapped that on really easy. What oh, does that have a jetpack? One size fits all. It does. Okay, jetpack. WFA jetpack model 3000, the latest technology. Yeah, okay. So now I have a jetpack. Oh my god, that's a big well, jump. Say jump. I say how high. That's a big jump. That's a big jump. Jeez, okay. Oh, she now we have a dodge. Moving. She can't be far. Okay. So we have dodges now. You gotta wait for your jetpack to uh, recharge, though. Okay. So you can't dodge too much because you use up all of your uh, energy, your fuel for your jetpack. No, but jetpack jumps like in No Man's Sky, though. Oh, maybe. Never mind. I take it back. Press A during a dodge to long. Never mind. I take it back. Oh, you know what spoke too soon. Oh, yes! Jetpack jump indeed! Look at that. 
That's a pretty good one. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, Legendary, I played the first Outcast back in the 90s for a bit. It was a fun game back then, and listening to the dialogues here, it seems like they have kept the old humor. Oh, dude, it definitely, it's of that era. Another and I think... One of these buildings. Gotta get inside. And I think that's on purpose, and I love that. When it's like, okay, this is just how it is... Mm, but I feel like they they wanted to keep the flavor of that 90s original game, and so they uh, they purposely made it this way. Oh, what? How do you get captured? I've been here for five minutes. <laughs> what did? Oh, come on, lady. Hmm, I've been wondering about this game, Seraphine. If you're into that old Mass Effect, old school RPG, pretty good. Oh, you're gonna get shot, buddy. You better move. All right, so oh, the chick we were with got and captured. <laughs> we were here for five minutes and she gets captured. To open this door. I get my armor and a jetpack and she gets captured by the robots, I guess. All right. What is this? This gear is more advanced than anything I've seen before. Whoa. Oh, shield. All right. You try shooting me now. And we got a shield. And then also, thank you, 07, for being a member for 20 months, Seraphine. Very awesome. Ultima Online. Jason, my old favorite RPG is Ultima Online, that is. Nice, nice. See, when I, when I got into RPGs, it was like Oblivion. It was like early 2000s. So Oblivion, Fable that kind of stuff for me before that it was just mario you can kind of count metal gear as an rpg but not really <laughs> i wouldn't count it as an rpg but I, I was doing that kind of stuff i was playing the easy stuff mario uh banjo kazooie i was doing uh platformers and you know metal gear because metal gear is amazing looks like some kind of terminal all right huh. act the terminal the shield device is reacting to it oh now that I, my <laughs> shield go. wait a minute my shield allows me to hack Oh god, okay, that was the fun. It doesn't do anything. Oh god, I'm running out of shield. Oh, go, 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 go. I just realized top left hand corner of the screen, you have a little shield icon and it drains every time you get hit. Alright. Oh, gotta be careful with that. Well played, Slade. But I have a bad feeling about Leas's friend. I yeah. gotta find her quick. You gotta. There's nothing back here for me to get. I'm just looking for any hidden items, you know. I'm always looking. There might be a, a container somewhere that I miss. That jump is insane. Because I'm not... You don't even have to hold it down. It's just tap. And you go up that hard. Can I... Can, if I hold it down, do I jump higher? No. Okay, so your jump is the same no matter what. Oh, unless you run out of juice. Then you get a normal jump. Nice. And then Richard... Thank you so much for being a member for 21 months, dude. Very much appreciated on that. Same evening from the UK. I've never heard of this, dude. A lot of people it came out last week, so it's a brand new it's a brand new game, but it has a very strong feel from like the old school RPGs. And the original game, this is a sequel to the original game that came out like I think 98 or 99. You know, like 20, 25 years ago. Oh, uh-oh. Robot. I have a shield. Don't crouch. Oh, I can use it to cut people open part. Okay. I like it. I just cut off his weapon. Did I cut off the weapon? What was that? That weird cinematic. Okay. And then boy mom. Thank you so very much for being a member for six months. Super insanely appreciated on that. Saying, Haley, Jason, and everyone, hope all is well. Doing well. We're having a, a nice, fun uh, Wednesday stream today. Hey, lock on to people. Nope. And there's no uh, parries, I guess. <laughs> no parry. All right, so the melee attack is pretty strong, I will say. 
Whew. All right, just one shot kills. I like that dodge. Look at that. That's so good. You can can I dodge backwards? Oh, you can. Just barely. Like your dodge backwards goes a little bit slower and not as far. I mean, look at this. It looks pretty good. It plays very well. I mean, if you depending on where you get it, I believe it's out on Xbox and PlayStation as well. I'm playing on PC and it kind of takes a little bit of extra power to run it. It needs definitely needs to be optimized. Oh. You get captured. Oh. Okay. I have a sniper. Look at that music. That is some old school. I love it. Oh! Why did you do that before? Oh. Oh! Okay. What the? Now she has ninja moves? Shit. <laughs> Oops. What was that about? HQ to Alpha 32. We registered an explosion on the thermal grid. Requesting status. Uh oh. Oh no. Everything's good here, Agent 32. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. It can't be. Alpha is 32, it, report. Is it a squad? Commander, are you under attack? Report. Humans. Invaders of my people. Oh. Good luck explaining that little detail to Liaz. Well, I guess you won't be needing this anymore, pal. Yeah, get his gun. Sniper. What? He had a sniper rifle. How the? Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. I guess I get a little pistol. Even though that guy had a sniper rifle. Technically, it's the third Outcast game. First was a remake. Oh, really? Called Outcast Second Contact. I did not know that, Watto. I've not played any of the Outcast games. So technically it's the third one and they remade the first one. I mean, from everything I've heard, like I read up about this game before I grabbed it. A lot of people. Okay, we have a scan. X-ray vision. How cool is that? A lot of people said that this has a lot of elements from the first game. So it's kind of a, a semi sequel slash remake because they use a lot of the, the elements from the uh, original game. But it's not one to one. Like it's not a, an exact copy. It's more of, what is this? <laughs> I wonder if I need to hit that sensor to open this door. <laughs> Let's see if I have to do this. I love that. That's old school. I love it. This is such Looks a good like game. Kind of terminal. Huh. The shield device is reacting to it. All right, now I have a gun. Guys, this is Mass Effect. There is no reload. It's just overheat. Well, maybe Mass Effect 2. You overheat instead of reloading. So all you have to do is stop shooting for a while. You see that bar underneath my crosshair? Look at that. Overheated. Be careful not to overheat your weapon. Pay attention to the heat gauge to use your weapon more efficiently. Okay. Open that is very Mass me. Effect. I like it. I like it. Uh, shooting. Hold, uh, the trigger to you shoot your gun. Green Heridium is automatically consumed. Oh, so the green stuff is your ammo. Where's that bot coming from? Oh, the, uh, okay. This feels very slow and cumbersome. Okay, I need to change that. That's slow as hell. Let's see. Camera sensitivity? No, no, no. I need shooting sensitivity. Do I need aim assistance? Let's turn that off. Nope, it's still slow as hell. Okay. When you aim, it is so freaking slow. Wow. So aim assistance didn't do anything. How do I change my um camera auto rotation? I don't, I don't the camera is fine. It's whenever you aim down sights. That's what I need to change. The aim down sights camera is just slow. Maybe that's on purpose. Maybe that's on purpose. Original Mass Effect was the one with the uh, no ammo. I thought it was number two as well. Maybe it is number one and only number one. I remember they switched over to ammo pretty quick. Let's go to controls. <laughs> no, it just tells you what it is. <laughs> they don't They don't even give you, like, can I keybind? Can I change my keybinds here? 
Nah, I don't want to change any of this. Combat. They don't even have a meter on that either. So yeah, literally just controls are... Here are the controls. <laughs> Um, gameplay. You would think it'd be under gameplay. I don't- I don't see anything on... You could change the camera sensitivity on your camera, but... Mm. Alright, let's see. You know what? We'll try that. You know what? We're gonna try that. Okay, that is slow. Let's try- let's just bump up this to... let's do a three. <laughs> that seems extreme. Let's do a three. Oh god, no, not reset. Go to three. That is pretty- oh my Jesus! And it does- okay, so... Your camera when you're aiming down the sights is locked in, but it's based off of... Your actual camera, so it's always- it's an integer of your camera movement. So if your normal camera goes 100... Your uh, your aim down sights is always gonna be 75. If you move up your- your camera movement, you move up your aiming down sights, but they're both locked. Cause that is- that's how I like it. This is fast, this is good. But now my normal camera is way too sensitive. <laughs> my god! Why would you link them together? Alright, let's go back to one. And then Captain Steve! Thank you so much for being a member for 40 months! Just had pizza with- <laughs> Just had pizza with pineapple on it. Yuck. Yes! Captain Steve, that is a yuck. And then Walter, thank you for being a member for 22 months, dude. Very much appreciated. Oh yeah, we should probably go up here. Wait a minute, there's a green light. Oh no, no, that's not a door. Okay. Oh god, please do not get that fast motion sickness alert. Yeah, I know. That is insane. So, th the camera by default is nice. It's a good smooth camera. But when you aim down the sights, it slows it down. It feels like it's always 75%. If you're aiming down the sights, it's always 75% of your normal camera movement. And hopefully they can uh, put out a patch to uh, unlock that. That way I can I got a change bad this. feeling about this. Because that is so slow. I I'm not too late. I mean, who knows? Maybe the combat's not that intense and you don't need fast movement. But man, that feels slow as heck. Was she up here? That chick, the alien we were with? Am I just running in circles? Oh yeah, she was up on the roof. Yeah, she just exploded up here. She killed everyone, though. Yeah, I'm probably is going to be 1.5, boy mom. Had this. You didn't have to sacrifice yourself. She just disappears. WFA. That's the army. I... Why do I have the feeling that I'm playing for the wrong team? Yeah. Oh. Here comes the robots. The oh, yeah. Is using droids now. Oh. Oh, I, I guess we can't talk. Uh oh. Crap. No. I guess he's dead now. You see that? Yeah? How do you turn it off? Huh? Goddamn savage. <laughs> Speak! Wow. Mene Yoron. Wrong answer. And wrong freaking language. Again! At least he said freaking. <laughs> Go to your <laughs> if Excuse we me. can't teach you English, what good are you? Sir, oh, there's Lord. been an attack. What? Where? District 54. We lost contact with the infantry station there. Send a repair team now and activate visual monitoring in our main facilities. They're babbling is like nails on a chalkboard. They're hiding something. Find out what it is. Okay. And bring me another prisoner. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> they really are making the villain a bad villain. Who are these people? What are they doing in my head? Wait. I dreamed about this place before. 
So... That wasn't a dream? It wasn't a dream. What is this? Oh, I get to control this. Okay. Not a dream. What is this? Is this like the afterlife? When I die, I come here. Dad, is that you? What? I'm a father. Daddy? Where are you? Uh, right here. Uh, stay put. I I'm going to find you. Where the hell am I? Okay, so he doesn't remember That's anything before. Fair. Slade is joining the mission to help keep your mommy and her friends safe. And I want to come too. It's too dangerous, baby girl. Don't worry, I'll be back in no time. I promise. Daddy promised the same thing. Camilla. I mean, Commander Slade. Sorry, mommy. Don't be sorry. I love you. He said that too. Voice acting. Uh, it's not great. <laughs> hey, but Camilla. That's the field they were going for. I have a little girl at home. I can't stay here. She needs me. Okay. So is that our uh, revive? He sounds a bit like Steve Blum. Maybe? I don't know. I don't I have no idea. Uh, he sounds like the same actor from Bulletstorm. It might be. Might be. I need to go back and play some Bulletstorm because I love that. That one was extra cheesy. I love that game. I think I have a series on the channel for Bulletstorm. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, I guess we're just re... It. I have my shield and stuff. It's definitely not business as usual. Lias. Lias. You. But I saw you revert in the explosion. Well, I'm back. But don't ask me how it works. I'm afraid your guardian friend wasn't so lucky. She took out a lot of invaders before I could get to her. Her sacrifice makes us proud. Bless her essence. Oh, it wasn't our... Okay. It was a different one. And bless the Ulokai. The trial is a success. You have proven that you are protected by the yachts. Okay. By the yachts. Hello, Crazy Kiosk. I love Bulletstorm. Oh, Outcast, the new beginning. We get the intro right here. Nice. So, our character is Slade. He doesn't remember anything. Got it. Bulletstorm is so good. I mean, it's definitely, like, a 13-year-old, like, potty humor, but I love it. It was so good. The gameplay was really, really good, and the humor, take Why it or leave it. Here? I need a portal to my dimension. I, I got a daughter, and... I also have a daughter, and I don't want her to suffer. The Yods need you to deal with the monsters that are oppressing the Talans. Listen, I gotta tell you something about these monsters you're up against. I know all about them. They're more poisonous than the Nekar plague. We should exterminate them all. Oh, <laughs> come on. That's a bit excessive. There must be some good people among them. None deserve mercy. Not after what they did to my people. But forgive my anger, Ulakai. You wanted to tell me something. Uh, <laughs> memory nope. blank again. <laughs> yes, uh, home. Uh, how can I get back to my dimension? Only the Almael can answer that question. But Kizar is a forbidden island. Oh, my kind of place. Which way? The island is covered by a massive Hilidium shield. We call it the Spear. Nothing can penetrate it. So is the will of the Yods. And your Yods could make this easy for me, huh? Maybe there is a way. The children of Kizar are suffering from a mysterious disease. And the Almael is calling Shamazes to heal them. Uh, do I look like one of these Shemazes? No. Shemazes. However, you could convince one to introduce you to the Almayan. But they're going to make you work for it. Okay. How about you introduce me? I scratch your back, you scratch mine kind of thing. I won't scratch you, Ulukai. 
Besides, <laughs> Dolatai guardians are not welcome in Kizar anymore. So, where do I start? Emea is the closest village. Ask for Shema's Nemet. Gotcha. Oh, you know, you should wear this device so we can keep in touch. Comlink synchronizing. Synchronization complete. But what about the invaders? Uh, you leave these unidentified monsters to me. Oh. Yes, it was entertaining. Uh, it's not Steve Blum, the Bulletstorm voice. It's a sound alike. His name is Luke Roberts. I really enjoy the writing. It's a little bit cheesy, but I like the writing. The, the interaction between Slade and her. It's amazing. It's really, really good. So are we here? Mini map. Oh, hey, dude, we're going to get a mini map tutorial. The village of Emea has been marked on your map. Follow the directions indicated on the map to reach your destination. Okay. Hey, over here. Hey, enough with the fog already. <laughs> it gets foggy if you go off the beaten path, I guess, huh? You can't even go over here. Yep. <laughs> if you, you'll be teleported back if you continue to move towards the fog. Okay. Smash Heridium or Helidium rocks with a melee attack. And these green ones give me ammo. And I like how you don't have to pick them up. They just like kind of, if you get close enough, you auto pick up, which is really nice. Look at this. Oh, wait, I can't talk to him. Hey there. Maybe you could help me. Sola. Koi yo sayat. Mene yonor. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Sorry, I don't understand a single word you're saying. <laughs> Oops, yeah, I, I need to learn a language. Can I get up there? Slade de Liaz, you copy? I left Kizard before <gasps> learning how to write. I can't copy anything, Ulukai. No, it means, oh. do you hear me? Then I'd prefer if you just say what you mean. All right, look. I have a serious communication problem here. I can't understand a word these Talans are saying. You speak a Gakamon, Ulukai. Only Shamazes and Dolotai guardians like myself learn that lost language. The native Talan tongue is Agazork. That explains it. Thanks, Lias. Slate out. <laughs> uh, the writing is a bit cheesy, but far more entertaining than most of these recent games have been. Dude, I know. And I, I appreciate it. And I... I, for me, there's a distinction between purposely cheesy. Oh, look at no fall damage because I have a jetpack. Okay, I like that. There's a difference between like purposely cheesy and unintentionally cheesy. If it's cheesy because it's just terrible, then it's bad. But if they want, if they're leaning into the cheesiness of it, I I'll take that. That's pretty good. But there is a definite like line there. What's happening? You can be too cheesy. Something tells me I shouldn't go there. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, they really don't want you to go off the path. All right. An enemy here? They're on me. Oh god. Oh, it's purple. It was a purple thing. I don't know what that is. Nano cells. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. I'm definitely gonna. I'm gonna up the camera on this. So. Let's go one. Let's go 1.5. Oh no, not reset. 1.5. That feels a little bit better. Up. Oh, need more ammo. I'll take that. Can I go this way? Oh, they don't even want me. This is a road. Oh, they really, they're like four. It might be still tutorial time. So they're forcing me to go certain direction. Like you can't go off the beaten path. We need to get you to the city. Purple is for shield. Oh, All right. Nice. Let's find Shamaz Nemet. Well, let's find Shamaz Nemet. 
Like that's the uh that's the shamans. <laughs> Just a little introduction to the uh, city or the town. Mission completed. <laughs> Harvest manager? Okay. You got some stuff for me, buddy? Hey there. Do you understand me? How me? Ted yo ha zon uyun zark. No. I am the Ulukai. Ring any bells? Oh, nice. This is helpless. Okay, so you have a glossary, so you can kind of get what's going on a little bit. What are he? Is he sawing a big fruit? What is this? I like that. Looks like a tasty fruit. I don't know if I would want it after you sawed it like that. It probably is hard to chew. None of the villagers are going to understand me. I was going to say, no one's freaking out because uh, I look weird. Oh, look at the skin actually reveals items. Can I grab this? Nah, no space left. Oh, can you not grab any? Okay, because I'm probably full. I'm at 100% ammo, so I don't need any more green. A uh, traveler has learned five words, dude. I'm gonna if if there's a knowledge stone, you know I'm gonna find it. I'm going to find that knowledge stone. I guess we have to talk to Nemet because he speaks English or human or whatever they call it. Sorry to bother, but uh, I'm looking for the Shemaz of this place. Katakizai, God's Almighty. You speak perfect Akakamon, the lost language of Kazar's false prophecy. Who are you, Akakamon? Oh, I'm glad you can understand me. The name's Cutter Slade. You might have heard of the Ulukai. Ulukai? <laughs> I am sorry. This is a strange moment. I haven't spoken Akokaman in many moons. I am Mehmet, Shamaz of Amiya. Nice to meet you. Okay. Listen, Liaz sent me. You gotta help me out. I don't think I can but speak, and I will listen. Okay. Oh, I can talk to him for healing. This is very early 2000s. I love this, like the the not the uh, spoken wheel here. Beautiful. Listen, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but your gods, I mean Yods, brought me to your dimension for a reason. I need to know what that reason is so I can return to my family. Long story short, I gotta speak with the Almael. Only Shamazes can be invited to Kizar outside of Vokostok, and I am a Shamaz. Amazing. Go pack your lunchbox then. We leave in ten. Mm. I have felt the call of the Almael. The children of Kizar are sick and they need healing. But what can a Shamaz do? The path to Kizar is long and fought with invaders. You might survive, but a Shamaz would surely revert. Look, we can kill two birds with one stone here. Once we get to this Kizar, we can figure out what to do about the kids, too. We. The spear protects the island of Kizar from all intruders, and the Almayel doesn't know you. I'm sorry. The Almayel won't meet with you. That's exactly why I need you to slip in, talk to the Almayel, and figure out how to get me home to see my own kid, because you're right. This whole thing is about our children, right? <laughs> hmm. If one could reactivate the... I believe you call them portals? Is that the right Akakamun word for Dialkas? I don't then know. traveling from Amiya to Kizar would be just like that. Whoosh. The space of three breaths. But Chief Hatsa won't allow it. The invaders made our Daukas not work, you know. He doesn't want to anger them more. You may not have any issues with authority, but I do. I can help reactivate your Daoka if it gets us to Kizar. Hmm. This guy. Helping you goes against Chief Hatso's command. I could be called a traitor. But the children are my priority, and Talans are a grateful people. 
We reward heroic deeds. Help us with the Daoka, and I will, how do you say, be a champion of you, Tahatso and the Almayal. Is that how you say it? Doesn't sound right. That voice. I know that guy's voice. He was in Mass Effect. Oh, I can't remember the race. On the Citadel, you talk to the big lumbering, uh, almost like a Snorlax. Almost like, um, just a very, Oi, how are you? Very slow. That was, that's the same voice. He, he, his, that voice actor is from Mass Effect. I would put money on that. Cheese is thick with this one, dude. Yes. I love it. It's so good. All right. So we need, uh, tell me about, uh, the invaders. Do you think the, uh, invaders can be healed? Good question. I see no essence in them. Beings with no essence cannot be healed through the essence and the odds. They cannot be reverted either. Have you tried to heal them? I don't want to get too close to them. I would probably get reverted. Huh. Even if it doesn't huh. bleed, we can still kill it. Trust me. You speak so tough. Does everyone where you're from speak this tough? Wait, <laughs> I'm not interested in this topic. Speak so tough. Uh, I haven't been home in a while. Elcor, yes. Wado, the Elcor. Yes. Yeah, the space snuffle up against. Yes. <laughs> the Elcor. That's who I was thinking of. That voice, this voice actor played the Elcor voice. Um, in Mass Effect, I believe it's Mass Effect 1. When you go to the Citadel for the first time, there's an Elcor and one of the uh, traitor guys, the big round guy. I can't remember his name either. They're arguing <laughs> outside of the uh, um, outside of the uh, ambassador's uh, office. Uh, Mark says, "Yeah, nice predator shout out." Exactly. If it can, even if it doesn't bleed, we can kill it. Uh, let's talk about the Almayel. Tell me about the Almayel. When the Yod speak, the Almayel listens. When the Almayel speaks, the Shamas listens. When we Shamazes speak, the villages listen. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes they ignore us and go through the same painful cycle again and again. What can you do? Oh, I know all about painful cycles. <laughs> We're going to leave that joke alone. <laughs> all right, let's go back to the main topics. Um, Kizar Escort. Are you sure we even need a Daoka to travel to Kizar? Maybe you don't, but these old legs do. Retrieve the core that the invaders have stolen, and I will introduce you to the Almayel in Kizar. Okay, and I guess we're gonna heal? Shaman's healing? Can you heal me? Brace yourself. The odds guide my hands. Beautiful. I gotta go now. Yods bless you. Slay to Liaz. I spoke with the Shamaz of Mia. Nemet, is he willing to help? Yeah. Under one condition, that I turn their Daoka back on. You will need to recover its core that was stolen by the invaders. They keep it in a nearby base. You've been there? It's too dangerous for the Talons. Our weapons cannot match their firepower. I can show you where it is located. I'm on it. <laughs> Thanks, what? Liaz. Find Amiya's Daoka core. Midnight with the 10 gifted memberships, dude. Very much appreciated, Midnight Owl. Oh, seven to you and everyone who's becoming a member right now. James, Ryan, Pink Romeo, Rick, Darkstone, Budzilla, Michael, Theta, uh, Tom became a member, and Randall. Very awesome. Find me as Dayoka Core. Uh, Liaz, mark the location of the Yoko core on your map. Press the uh, menu to open up the map. Okay. Where's that? Okay, so here's the map. How big is this map? That's a pretty good size. That's a pretty good size. So we have to check here. There you are. Heck yeah. Oh, 07 to you guys. You're such a tough boy, aren't you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So highlight this one. Cutter wants home. Mission available. A father must return to his daughter. Shamas Nemet can introduce Cutter to the Amael, who Liaz believes has the power to grant him passage. 
Um, select the core. There we go. Oh my god, this menu. Holy cow, you have to select different things, different levels. Holy crap. So now we need to go find the piece. So these blue, blue these blue things uh, launch you. Where am I going to go over here? Okay, this one. Look at that. Oh my god. Is there another one? Can we go even higher? Look at this. This town is huge. Or this city, I guess. Can I talk to Reiki? Can you help me? Oh, dang it. That's all. Have a good one. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Uh, how's the game so far, Barbosa? I'm really enjoying it. So, it might not be everyone's flavor. It depends on what you want out of an RPG. But this is a very classic, like, old school, quote unquote, RPG. It's more of like mid 2000s. Again, like I, I keep saying it. If you played like, if you liked and you played the original Mass Effect, like Fable, all those really like mid 2000 RPG kind of uh, games, you'll probably like this. The writing is very good. It's cheesy, but I think it's good. The voice acting is kind of... Uh, but, I mean, that's, like, indicative of that early 2000s feel. The gameplay is very, very smooth. Depending on what you play on. Yeah, there is no fall damage at all. Wow, that's awesome. So, I'm guessing the blue arrow on our map is where we need to go. The mini-map at the top. Go over here. Hey, can I go anywhere now? Like if I wanted to just run this way, like I'm purposely going the wrong way, will it let me go in there? Give me my fuel. Or my ammo. I think it will! What the crap? Water snake? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Yeah, those will let me go wherever. Like, I'm purposely going the wrong way. I'm going the opposite. I need to go here, but I'm going the opposite way, and they're not locking me out. I like that. Now it's kind of open. I like it. I'm gonna find some cool treasure out here. There's nothing. <laughs> nothing, huh? And there's no limit on that. You just keep hitting it. Just spam that scanner. That villager has forgotten how to walk up steps. I oh, don't know. He's just so nervous because I'm around. Hey, enough oh, with the fog already. There we go. Oh my god, that was instant. Oh my I god. Lost on my first day. They teleport me back to the town. All right. You don't go too far, I guess. What was that? Oh no, it was him. Okay, the villager. We don't need to talk to the villager. Okay, so these plants pop you up in the air. What does this one do? This one is going to launch me up here? Oh yeah, probably up there. Oh, well, let's keep going. Oh, here's the portal, I guess. Have to activate it by broken core. Oh, I need to put the core in that, I think. Yeah, here's the core. All right. Give me some ammo. I don't like these snakes. I see the red dots on the mini map. I know there's enemies out here. You must have to unlock areas then. Probably something like that midnight. I know we're, we just started the game, so we're kind of in like the tutorial area. So they might not let us go right now because they want us to kind of learn how the game works. I don't like that at all. Oh my God. That is not cool. I hate that looking. Oh my God, that's gross looking. Look at this thing. Oh, God. I'm trying to go for headshots. I don't think it matters. Yeah, look at that thing. That's gross. I don't like that at all. What's that sound? <laughs> Ow, what the hell? What is... I was gonna say I didn't. I was going the right way. I thought it was the fog. 
Are these memories? What is going on here? Here you are. There's something wrong with your comm link. I turned it off. You did? What? What are you doing? We took this from them. I'm sure they'd want their relics back. We could use it to parlay. You know we don't have the clearance to do that. I came looking for you. Your father wants to see us at HQ. Maybe this mission isn't only about what he wants, Colonel. Let that sink in for a while. So that's a special item we need to get, I guess. Is that a memory? Oh, another vision. Was that the Daoka core Nemeth is looking for? Okay, so that wasn't a memory. That was a vision. So I get uh, I get shots of um, what's going on. Can I shoot these. Oh, you can't shoot it. Okay. But I can do this. Uh, that's the core. Yeah, but it's so weird that I get like visions to tell me what they are. Let's go up here. Is there anything here? I don't see. Like, I'm trying to scan to see if I can find stuff. I'm not seeing anything special. Oh, wait a minute. I walked right by something. What is this? All right, nano cells. I don't know what a nano cell. Let's go into our start. What is a nano cell? So I'm guessing we have different uh, either armors or abilities right here on this page. And here's our weapon. We can upgrade our weapon. Consumables. Resources. Nano cells are the WFA's latest invention. They manage to control the chaotic behavior of purple halidium by realigning its crystalline structure. These cells can be used to enhance the offensive capabilities of both droids and weapons alike. Okay, so you use it for upgrades. It's an upgrade material. Okay. Upgrade material. And then I have all my pieces here. My jetpack, my gun, my shield, my comm link. All right. And these are consumable. So I have my green, which is my uh, ammo, and then my uh, Yuli plant, which is my health. Okay. So the purple stuff is for upgrades. I'm guessing we'll find someone later on that'll let us upgrade... Like weapons or something. Are you trying to snipe me from over there? Oh god, that was pretty good. You don't have a shield, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, can I not? Okay, there we go. This thing is pretty accurate, man. This is a, basically a, a Halo pistol. This is the Magnum from Halo. I like it. That thing is accurate forever. It's like a laser beam. I love it. Maybe I can get a sniper rifle. I get a scope later on. There we go. Oh, dang it. I'll get stuck in there. Don't need that. Really? So it does highlight all the interactive uh, stuff. So you don't have to worry about, oh, there's hidden items that I could just scan and look around. Like it did, like it, it marks that. So any boxes and stuff are going to be marked. That's always my question because sometimes they don't mark like hidden objects. They want you to find them, but it looks like they don't care. They'll mark everything for you. So I can just do that. Pop it, and there's something over there. What is that? What is that? A pickup item, I guess? What is it? I don't know what that is. We'll find it, though. We'll find it. There's a big green glowing box. This looks good. That Halo pistol was king. Dude, Uncle Grun, no joke, man. Halo 1, even Halo 2 to a certain extent, but Halo 1 for sure. You get the pistol, it's done, man. It was a sniper. Ooh, really hate me now, oh, so good. Bots. Weapon module. You have discovered a new weapon module. It can be equipped to your weapon to give it new capabilities. Where's that? What do we have to do? Okay, go to my weapon. What do we have here? 
a module. This is a weapon you can shoot while overheated at the cost of extra. Oh, okay. So you don't have to. Oh, it's a machine gun. All right, we got stats right here. So it'll shoot even if it's overheated, but it'll cost you extra ammo to shoot. All right, well, let's equip that. What is this down here? What is this? Concussive shot? Increases the damage and chance of stunning droids. Do I have to equip that? I guess I can't. Can I only equip one at a time? Oh, you can only equip one at a time! Okay, so you have to choose one or the other, either a machine gun or the concussive. All right. That's interesting. I wonder why they make you choose one or the other. Well, let's go with the concussive shots just Fuck because. Coming from. Oh, yeah. Look at I guess we have to uh, hack this thing right here. That should do the trick. Uh, NPC diamonds? Yes. We were kings with no shields. Pistols only back to 100%, man. We did that. We also did, uh, in Modern Warfare 2, we would do knives only on Rust. The original Modern Warfare 2, not the recent one. Way back in the day. Modern Warfare 2, the original game, you play on Rust because it was a small map with knives only, man. Knives only! And if you used the gun, you were, uh, you were a chicken. Okay, did I get it? I think I got it. Another vision? <laughs> Why don't I just get these visions that just so happen to help me? Was that a portal to Earth? Is that, is that what I just saw? Unlock the other slots. Oh, General there you go, Gorham. James. Yeah. You asked to see us? You can skip the decorum, sweetheart. Just call me father. Okay. Father. I don't want you on the ground anymore. The situation has escalated. Really? What's happening, General? This footage comes from the black box recovered in one of our damaged drones. Look. And that's happening Rogue right now? Agent? It's impossible. Exactly, Colonel. This is proof the savages are sorcerers. They can get in our minds, mess with our heads. Clearly, it's some kind of alien shapeshifter. An alien really? shape? Really? Come on, Father. This is getting a little ridiculous. You know what's ridiculous? You're the fleet negotiator, and you still haven't managed to communicate with a single prisoner. Yet you keep assuring me these primates are intelligent. We're taking over their land. Just because they don't welcome us doesn't mean they're stupid. <laughs> wow. This is General Borum. Send reinforcement convoys to all bases. Do it now. Now. So, these visions are happening right now, because I have a picture of me. These are happening right now. What the heck is going on here? So, so I thought it was like a memory or something? So how am I getting these visions? Looks like the odds are turning me into a psychic. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for the heads up, General. Yeah, exactly. I just happened to get the information I need. Now I know where not to go, because they'll attack me. As expected, your presence didn't go unnoticed. Some Talans are already talking about you. Oh, yeah? Well, what do they say? Because I can't make much sense of what they're telling me. They don't understand you either. Only the Shamas they speak Agrikamon. Shamas is only that. I'll keep that in mind. Slate out. Alright, so... Modules. Can I unlock this? I can't. So this one seems like it's linked to something. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So if you go down here, you can have four modules. But why is this one... Why is this module down here and the other one is up here? What's the difference between them? Are they linked in some way? Because it looks like there's a linking thing here. Either way, yeah, you can unlock the different module upgrades by using the purple stuff. So getting more purple stuff uh, lets me unlock different... Uh, Upgrade slots, I guess. And it's, and I'm also looking at that. It's a level one, so I can upgrade it to level three, it looks like. Okay. 
So can I upgrade the uh, actual thing? Can I upgrade this? Yes, now this will help. No. Uh, damage is 40%, fire rate minus 20. So it slows down your shots, but it does more damage per shot. All right. Uh, making people see alien shapeshifters that aren't really there. Dude, yeah, they're making the villain out to be, like, extra villainy. <laughs> like, he's just shooting people, uh, prisoners. Like, wow. Oh, well, you can, uh, you can swim. <laughs> that was unintentional. Okay, so you can swim. That's always a test. Yeah, you know, some games, magically, you cannot swim. <laughs> I know that was a big deal, like, in the early Assassin's Creed games. They wouldn't let you swim. Now they do, but man, hey, back in the day, fog. you didn't swim. It's that fog saying, don't come any closer. All right, all right. Let's go back to the village. We're not allowed to, to go anywhere yet. Well, I think my upgrade only works on robots, so the animals, it might not matter. But let's check it out. Let's see. There's enemies over here. Oh, maybe not. Back off, Cutter. Maybe not. Never mind. We can't go over there yet. Uh, water physics are hard. I kind of. It's just a swimming animation, you know. But sometimes it's like, look, we don't got enough. We don't have enough time to actually put in a swimming animation and all that. So the water is just there for show. I guess we gotta turn in this. Uh... Oh yeah, there's a uh, little water things over here. And look at that! The Heridium, the green crystals, they stay here until I pick it up. I like that. Let's see. You're on me. So I'm doing seven damage. Now if I switch it out, if I take it off. Just totally take it off. I was doing seven. Okay, that's a pretty good jump. Normally, I'm doing five, but when I put the upgrade on, I do seven. Hmm. What about this machine gun? Whoa! Now, it does... It lessens your damage, but you're shooting way, way more shots. Okay, I like the machine gun, I think, a little bit better. Oh, never mind. It's not as accurate. It's not as accurate. I just cleaned up their pond. Now the pond is all nice and fresh. Don't get to worry about the sea snakes for a while. Is this third play, th third person only? Yes, A Train. It is only third person. There's no f FPS in here, as far as I know. Let me look. Let me look. I don't think there is any FPS. There's FOV. If you want to make it closer, let's look. If we get zoomed in real hard, let's see what it does. Yeah, you still. It's a third person. It's third person. So there's no uh, no switching to FPS or anything like that. What was it at earlier? Seventy? I think it was at seventy. Yeah, it's all locked in. Third person only. And then Carmen! Thank you so very much for the super chat. There you are, Toasty! Have a great stream! Going to the Elden Ring! Oh, now you're making me jealous. I want to play some Elden Ring. We're not going to do- I'm not going to do Elden Ring until June. I want to start at the beginning of June. I'm going to- I'm going to start up a brand new save. Fresh one. That way we can get to where- like, oh, well, maybe we'll probably finish the game, but at least get to where the DLC starts by the 21st, because that's when the release date for the DLC is so we'll do that for sure. But yeah, I gotta I gotta hold out. I'm holding out until uh until June. I might go back and play some uh Lies of P though, Carmen, because Lies of P is pretty good. Oh, and then uh A Train says, Yeah, thanks for checking. Yeah, I mean yeah, I don't see any. Like we could also maybe check the controls, but I don't think there's any Wait a minute, Jet Sprint Glide. There's a glide? I didn't know there was that. Uh, Oru's gun. Yeah, there's no, uh, changing camera. There's moving your camera, but not changing it. Yeah, it's third person locked in. I didn't know there was a glide. What is this? Uh-oh. 
I guess we don't have a glide yet. So it said left and right bumper are glides, but I guess not. Not yet. We don't have it. Maybe it's an upgrade we have to get. Oh, wait a minute. There's another snake over here. We had to clear out all the snakes. Where are you at? I don't like the, the uh, not accurate. Did I change my camera? I did not. Oh my god, I'm zoomed in. I hate it zoomed in. I gotta have it zoomed out. Was it 80? Why am I zoomed in all of a sudden? Oh, it's because I was in uh, I was in a uh, combat mode. That's why it, it zooms in if you're in combat mode. All right, let's go plug in the core. I like that dash. That's pretty good. Not as good as the, uh, not as good as the, uh, No Man's Sky, but it's pretty good. Pretty solid. It's like an 8 out of 10. No Man's Sky is a 10 out of 10 because you can control it. This is like an 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. All right, let's plug in this thing and activate the portal. Star, this, oh! This is where your Stargate happens. That's a Stargate! I mean, it doesn't move. It doesn't move like Stargate, so we're not choosing symbols. Step into the Dayoka and... Well, I mean, we just... I wouldn't trust it. Where's the Shaman at? He needs to fix this thing, right? I wouldn't trust it. I just plugged it in. Oh, this might not be good. Where's the Shaman at? All right, I guess we're going to walk through it. Off-world activation. Oh. So is this the afterlife or is this some kind of middle ground? Like if you teleport or if you uh, die, you come here. Go get it. <laughs> Stop with your tongue, it tickles. Now sit. Sit. It's a dog. <laughs> yes, good boy. Mom, come see this. I made him sit. Look. <laughs> what do you say, Mary? Looks like our little one loves her present. It's all she could talk about for the last two months. That's eight weeks, Slade. It's bare, bare eight burning. months. Got dispatched to Costa Rica. Black Ops. You know I couldn't check it for her birthday. It's... It's just too hard on Camilla. The longing, the questions. You can't show up unannounced and then disappear again for God knows how long. What, what are you saying? That I should stop coming? Not like this. You're either in or out of her life. You understand? That's the job, Wolf. You, if anyone, should understand that. I do understand. So please do not come back until you wow. receive the paperwork from the lawyer. Wow. That sounds like a healthy relationship. Thomas or Tamus! Thank you so much for becoming a member on the channel. You're now a fellow traveler. Thank you so much. This sounds like a really healthy relationship that he has with his wife. Who's there? I want out of this. You can trust me, Marion. No way I'm going to miss the next visit to my little girl. Okay. <laughs> a vice. Uh, and Big Eagle 420, thank you so much for becoming a traveler as well. A, a member on the channel. You're now a fellow traveler. Thank you so much. Member for 12 months, Golden Gak, dude. It's my membership birthday. Yay. 07 to you, Gak, for 12 months, dude. 07. Very much appreciated, oh. man. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Damn it. Where the hell is he? What happened? You disappeared for a complete moon. Really? Felt like minutes. I must have taken a little dimensional detour or something. What, for a month? So, this is the place? Behold, the spear. Wait a minute, what? I was gone for an entire month and Nemet was just waiting for me? Or an entire night? Maybe he means an entire night. Impressive. 
But I'm still counting on you. You'll keep your promise, right? Is this a shield? It's all gonna be fine. I don't have Slade. that thing on my hand. Hey there. <laughs> they don't know English. A moon doesn't always orbit in 28 days. I meant like the cycles of the moon from a, you know, totally gone moon to a full moon. That's what I assume, but maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe it's rotation or it could just be night to day. I don't know. I don't know what they mean by a full moon or a, a moon cycle or whatever you said. Sick children to tend to. The MIL will see you now. Thanks, Nemet. Don't thank me yet. Ulukai. Ulukai. Uh, what are those creatures? Unity quests. These are the aliens. We've landed on some weird planet. We don't have any memory of what we had before. And we're interacting with these weird alien creatures. And they, uh, Ulukai are ancient humans. So I don't know if this is the future, the past. What is going on here? This looks like an old, like, Roman, like, cathedral. Like, what is this? Well, hello. Are we dancing? All right. This is the, this is where the party's at. Do they interact? Nope, they don't care. <laughs> They're like, yeah, everyone comes in here with a jetpack. This is a big place for just one. Just one dude. So you're the mysterious one woman, stranger. one queen. The Almayel sees you, human. Speak your Aga come on words, and the Almayel shall listen. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, which one of you is the Almayel? I am the Almayel, one luminous being, the ruler of Adelpha, the precious link between Talans and the Yards. I see. I'm only here because I'd like to go back to my dimension. A uh, different dimension. But your yards, well, they seem to want something else. I think they're trying to tell me something. Blasphemy! Only the Almayel can hear the voice of the yards. Why would the yards address a human? Maybe this Ulukai thing? <laughs> the yards, they've shown me things like visions. Oh, and I heard a voice, yeah. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's if that lies. lies. Humans are liars. Leave this sacred sanctuary at once. once. No, that's wait. Really good. The Almayel has spoken. Hold on. Liaz told me that you could answer my questions. Yes. The sound of that name casts ripples on the perfect surface of Melia. It shall not be spoken in Kizar. Okay. All right. Look, I meant no disrespect, but I have a message from your yachts. Okay. I'm sure you want to hear it. Let's work something out and you can help me get off this rock. Speak now or leave. Do we have a deal? Speak. Speak. Okay, so it goes something like this. Nas your cat. Nas your cat. I'm a not mm, nectar. Yards almighty. You see? I told you it was important. <laughs> They're like this dude. Imposter. How dare you mock the Almayel? Yeah, there you go. <sighs> Look, I'm working on my accent, all right? Listen <laughs> to me. I have died. Actually died, okay? But I keep waking up in some kind of vortex with this echo. The same words repeating. Nas your cat. No. Nas your cat. Amanor. Neko! Okay. <laughs> okay. What is going on here? Now that's more like it. The message speaks. 
Agathark, so, so it is true. You, you hear, hear the, the voice, voice of the gods. Hearing was the easy part. Care to translate? Oh, wait. I think I already know what it means. Save, Save us, us from, from extinction. extinction. How do I? What language am I speaking? The Yards have translated the message. The Almayel sees and hears what is left to comprehend. To save us from extinction, we must protect. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! Kizar Chill out. Must be protected to save the Talans from extinction. Kizar must procreate to save the Talans from extinction. So, which one is it? The Almayel is one luminous being. It looks like no. it takes at least two to disagree. Not my place to debate, but you got your message, so what about our deal? Save us from extinction. And the Yards will send you back to your world. One man against an army? <sighs> Yards can't be serious about this. You two don't strike me as someone who would get their sense of humor, so... Hey, where's she going? Okay. So there's probably- it sounds like there's gonna be two ways for you to progress through the story. There's a- the procreate and the protection route that you have to go with, it seems. Let's- <laughs> I need a drink, holy cow! Can we talk? The Almayel sees you. Uh, protect? I thought the spear was already protecting this island. But you seem to think the Yods want it even more protected? How? You must understand that this can only be half. Half spoken. Got it. You don't want your sister knowing the details. My lips are sealed. Just lay it on me. This island is built on the <laughs> largest down. source of white helidium in all of Adelpha. The Almayel uses it to power the spear. But it's depleting quickly and won't last forever. If they are willing to help, the Dalatai Guardians could find a way to bring more white helidium to the island. Understood. I'll talk to Liaz. If that's what it takes to redeem the Guardians, she'll be all for it. Dalatai Guardians are outcasts. Their outlawed order started our descent into extinction. They are forbidden to enter Kizar. Well, without Liaz, I wouldn't be here talking to you, and the message of the Yods would be lost forever, so come on. She just wants to see her daughter. Ishana and Liaz share the same fey essence, as did Yan, her former partner, who reverted so many Dalatai guardians in his foolish attempt at violence. Was it really foolish to sacrifice themselves to save you all? You, among all people, should appreciate the value of protection. You need to listen to Liaz, because this is how the invaders are winning right now. They divide and rule. Divide and rule? Words of Sankra. And yet the Almayel sees wisdom in them. Wisdom's good. If the message can convince the Dalatai Guardians to protect the spear, the Almayel will half-speak in their favor, and Liaz shall be heard. Thank you. Thank you for that bit of mercy. The Almayel has half spoken. Then I have to uh, tell me about who you are. Sorry, lady. Who are you again? The Almayel, protector of life and the Oracle of the Yards. With a message? <laughs> Imagine this game, the last Starfighter, and you get to choose in J plays. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the children are even less attractive than the adult. What are you talking about, Synthgeck? <laughs> What are you guys talking about? Oh, guys, you need to you need to go look up um, Liara in Mass Effect. Come on now, come on now. So you and your sister have never disagreed before, ever. The Almayel is one luminous being, the incarnation of Melia on Adelpha. <laughs> she doesn't disagree. The dissonance in the Almayel's voice is something else. We call it Sankra. The path is blurry. Aka stalk, the spear. One renews, the other one protects. Protecting is saving. Technically, males and females mingling renews life. 
That's saving too. All right, calm down, Slade. I think you both may be interpreting this the wrong way. Who are you to criticize our ways? The Almayel has ruled Adelpha for thousands of cycles far before your arrival. I I'm not looking to offend anyone. The ladies have run this world for thousands of years, and I'm sure you have the best reasons to do it your way. I don't want to interfere with your politics. I'm just a guy who wants to get home. A guy? You are the message. You brought Sankra into the temple of the Almayel, shrouding your true intentions. Denying you is the path of the blind, but obeying you is merely a one-eyed vision. Could we maybe agree that my name is not Message? <laughs> if the Yods are giving me a ticket back to my daughter, I'll do everything I can to save you from extinction. But I believe the shortcut to the endgame is shutting down the invader bases one by one. No invaders, no threat on your people. That's your message in a nutshell. The message is already changing. The other eye won't close on his unseen words. That's cryptic. Who's the other eye? Your sister? The Almayel has half spoken. Not a yes, not a no. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. It was good talking to you, Almayel. I have to leave now. Walk where the yards can see you. We asked, you read me. Yes, Ulukai. The Dolatai guardians will help you. How you. I haven't said anything. When you were talking to the Elmael, you left your channel open. I heard everything. Oh. After studying the map, I've identified several facilities that are storing copious amounts of white telidium. I can clear the outpost. Can you send your people to collect after me? Sure. But there's a problem. Uh, of course there is. Hit me. White telidium can't pass through a Tonka. Small amounts are fine, but it gets unstable in large quantity. The Daoka could explode and obliterate the area, just like in Talanzar, 15 cycles ago. Any safer option? We could use a fisher Talan boat. I can centralize the shipments in the coastal village of Sapa. That will take some coordination, but it can be done. Okay. I think they'll do it. If I'm ever going to get home, we need to find a way for everyone to contribute. Y'all got no advanced weapons, no vehicles, no protection. Oh, there's not much to work with here. Talons are resourceful. I'm sure every village has something to offer. You just have to figure out what exactly. Talk to the chiefs. It shouldn't be too difficult now that you're fluent in our language. <sighs> what are you talking about? Ulukai, you do realize we're having this discussion in Agazork. Really? Wild. Okay. The odds did something to me. I have a feeling they're only getting started. Thanks for the map coordinates, Liat. Let's do this. Slate out. Okay, so now the game starts proper, I guess. We've gotten out of the uh, intro. Uh, reinforce the spear. New main quest unlocked. Press it to uh, continue. Oh, press left bumper. Oh, there we Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Save them from extinction. Cutter has delivered the Yod's message to the Amael, but for the first time in Adolphus' history, their interpretations of this message differ. This leaves Cutter Slade without one, or not with one, but two major tasks to complete. Oh, I have to do both! I thought I was going to choose one or the other. You get to do both. Okay. Oh, uh, I need to reinforce the spear and uh, unite the talent. Uh, okay, or talons. We haven't unlocked that yet because I probably have to go talk to somebody for that. All right. So we need to procreate. Let's go talk to the other. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is over there. Yell. Yell and Alma. Alma yell. Okay, there you go. That's pretty good. Can I steal this? Valuable items are objects which can be sold to merchants for a fair amount of Zorkins. <laughs> Zorkins is their, uh, their currency. All right. So I, I just stole something out of their... Uh... <laughs> okay. And uh, she wants to procreate. So let's talk to Yao. Of course, we need to talk to her. You have returned. Uh, procreate. <laughs> let's get it on, I guess. Why do you think procreation is the key to the Yod's message? 
The Almayel understands the voice of the Yards, and they want Akastok to be celebrated again. What is Akastok? What's Okastok? Okastok? The festival celebrates the cycle of life. Can't you hear? Birth is silent. Thousands of moons without new life leads to extinction. Complete the circle, follow the will of the Yards, and the message shall become. What do you mean, become? Become what? The message can't be trusted until it brings the first Daraman to the Almayel. The first of many. Okay, I have to, I have to father a child. What's a Daraman exactly? A Daraman is a symbol of Talan unity. The festival of Akastok can't happen while the villages of Adelpha remain isolated. Help them. Unite the people behind their leaders. And you shall receive their Daromans in return. Okay. Oh, she has a whole bunch. Um, the Kizar. What's so special about this place? Kizar. Kizar. Kizar has been a sacred haven for thousands of cycles. It is where every Talan life begins, and Melia's last bastion. Without Kizar, there would be no Adelpha. Uh, what about the message? About the echoes. You heard them too, right? It's like the Yods are in my head. The Yods are not in your head, human. They are everywhere. Well, wherever they are, they're looping the same message over and over again. It's... Oh, it's what I hear every time I... You don't hear the message. You are the message. Powerful words spoken by the Yards. To hear the message is to understand it like a true Urukai would. All right, calm down. Then that's it. Like Zokrim predicted, I'm the Ulukai. Why else would the Yods bring me back here? There is no Ulukai. Not yet. I'm sorry you and the Dolatai Guardians were fooled by the false prophecies of Khazar and Zokrim. They were wrong interpretations of the Yods' way. Only the Almayel reads the will of the Yods. Wait, what? You don't believe in the prophecy? But you believe that an Ulukai is still gonna come? <laughs> I gotta tell you, reading between the lines ain't my thing. The Almayel. I cannot be more clear. The Ulukai must hear the message and understand its true meaning. You don't understand it, so you are no Ulukai. <laughs> Maybe the word clear is getting lost in translation here because this is not clear at all. <laughs> my point exactly. There you go. <laughs> I think they wrote that on purpose. Like, it's confusing as hell. But don't worry. When you play the game and you kind of get into the story, you'll understand later on. Um, who are you? Excuse me. Who are you again? The Almayel, nurturer of life, an oracle of the Yods. Uh, Messiah? Could you imagine just for one second that I am the hero you guys are waiting for? Sounds a tad pretentious, so I'll give you that. Yes. But you are the message. Words of the Yards. Leave their true meaning to the Elmael. Even though you and your sister can't agree on the meaning of four words. Save us from extinction. Silence. Akastok shall be. Extinction shall be avoided. The Almayel has half spoken. Mm-hmm. Half spoken because we don't agree. Can you give Leah a second chance? She'd like to just talk with you. The Almayel can't hear Leah's. She is an outcast. The Dalatai guardians fell under their own false prophecies, and the Yods reclaimed their tainted lessons of war. Listen, you can't blame her for something her lover did. They had good intentions, right? The Dalatai Guardians are not the enemy, the invaders are. Liaz learned nothing from Yan's reversion. As long as she bangs the drum of war, Kizar will be off limits to her. The spear protects the Talan race from the violent nature of Sankra and all the dissident voices. 
we will continue the circle of life. That's the will of the Yards. The message speaks of saving all the Talans from extinction. That's right, every Talan. Liaz included. So help me save her. Let bygones be bygones. Please? You don't understand. This can't be. The Almayel has already half spoken. I think we... Got everything here? Yep. I have to go now. For now. The Yods are waiting. Alright, so now... <laughs> yeah, there you go. New main quest unlocked. Let's get it on. So it looks like we have to do both. We have to go and get reinforcements and get the white heridium or helidium. And we also have to help all the villages and receive their daramons. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm going to be uh, doing some banging later on. Oh, look at He's back. Nimit. Nimit. How are the children? I healed them, but I couldn't find the cause of the disease. So I'm afraid I'll have to return if the stomach cramps start again. But duty calls in my village too, so I should head back to Emiya now. Speaking of Emiya, you don't have a spare Daramon, do you? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna need a bunch of them. And frankly, I got no idea where to start. My village is as good a starting point as any if you're on the lookout for Daramons. Emiya has its share of issues like every other place on Adelpha, I'm sure. Help us and I will bless our Daramon myself. Or help other villages first, because... By the odds, the whole of Adelpha needs help. All right, so we have to go to each village, do missions for them, and get their favor. Oh, God. The Deoka map. Deoka. You can open the Deoka map by pressing Y on the uh, quest map. That'll, that's a flashbang. Holy crap. You can now fast travel to any activated Deoka from the map. Okay. So once we've uh, activated a portal, we can use it, huh? So, Amea. Go right here. Teleport. Oh my god. Why? Why have that color? I'm gonna go blind. Uh, Daramons. The uh, object to obtain the Daramon of a village, you will need to gain the trust of its inhabitants. Press it to open up the quest. Oh my god, I keep going back into this menu. Quit doing that. Select the village of Amea. And, oh, look, they have multiple, uh, multiple different ones here, huh? Find and talk to the Emea's, uh, chief. Come back to the vill various village quests to review new objectives and make progress towards obtaining Daraman's villages. Alright, so we have multiple missions. Hopefully now we can go around. And, because I know the language, now I can talk to anybody, right? I can talk to the market guy and I can talk to all these people? All right. Oh, excuse me, villager. Yods be praised. Leaz told me I'd have a chance to find you here. The Ulukai. I can't believe you're real. We have waited for so long. You didn't travel all that way just to greet me, unless I'm like one of the beetles in your world, which I totally understand. Beetles? Sounds mysterious. My name is Emerhid, and believe it or not, I happen to be the Dalatai Guardian heading the research group that focuses on Adelpha's ancient mysteries. I guess you've heard about the Essence Shrines? Maybe I did, but my memory ain't... Okay, let's assume I did. So, what about them? What about, what about them? What about them? I don't know. I really hoped you'd enlighten us, Ulukai. Oh, crap. Well, <laughs> sorry to disappoint then. Let me mark these locations on the map. I believe they're essence shrines. And hopefully you'll help crack their mystery for us. The odds are trying to tell us something. I can feel it. If you come across more of them, please let me know. Chief Hatsu doesn't want me here, so I'm heading back to the Dalatai camp near the Gandar temple. Find me there. Okay, Emerheed. Maybe I'll look into it. <laughs> Maybe. Zakar didn't tell us you'd be so funny, Ulukai. Of course you'll look into it. What does that mean? Wait a minute. What does that mean? Of course you'll look into it. I don't understand that humor. Do you know how many essence shrines are out there? I have a few documented here. I'm sure you're still a long way from uncovering them all. 
All right. See you next time, Emmer Heed. Emmer Heed's on the first on the list. Oh no, she's gonna mark the locations of villages on a map that needs help. Let's look at her map. So I'm guessing green things are shrines. Yep. Side activity. Oh no, no, maybe they're they're side activities here. Find the altars and catch the essence. Oh no, there's different symbols. Okay. Oh my god. What is a red symbol? What is this? Gork eruption. Kill all the creatures and clean the gork eruption. Wow. Okay, we're getting some. We're getting a lot of uh, locations here. Uh, Dayoka core outpost. Okay, we've already been there. So it's grayed out because we've already been there. I like that. They put an X on it because we've already done it. That, I like that. That way I know what I've done and what I haven't done yet. Oh my God, look at all this. We have that village, we have that village. Village, 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 well, man. Okay, this is a pretty big game. Look at that. Look at this. Let's talk to some people in the, uh, in here, let's grab some stuff. We could also talk at the market. Maybe we can buy some upgrades. Let me grab all the stuff here. <laughs> Excuse me while I steal all the items from your uh, your house. I have to though. It's a requirement. RPG requirement. I got to steal everything from everyone. Oh, there's a red crystal here. What is a red one? Red halidium. Okay, so red is different. Wait a minute. What is red? What does red do? Red crystal ore is somewhat unstable and less common than its green variant. The unstable energy within it requires advanced technology to be controlled. WFA forces use it to empower rifle type one. Okay. Do I have enough to upgrade my, uh, I still need a lot. I need purple. I need purple. Is that Nemet? Yeah, that is Nemet. Okay. <gasps> Merchant right up there. Nemet, let me Hello, talk to you. Hello, Shamaz Nemet. What in the gods? I didn't realize it before, but how did you learn to speak Agasaur so fast? Wait, is that a Shamazar accent I'm hearing? Really? I think the gods did something to me when I delivered their message to the Almael. Oh, I see. Praise them. Be careful, Ulukai. Activating the Daokas has caught the invader's attention. Ah, uh, the Daoramon. So, where is that Daramon of yours? Daramon. And how can I score it quick? Aeneas Daramon doesn't exist yet. The chief of the village creates a Daramon as a token of gratitude. Speak to my fellow Talans, and they will tell you how you can help them. If you're a good friend to Amiya, it's Daramon you shall receive. Good luck with that, so though. Yeah. How to make friends on alien worlds. I must have left that book on the shelf. Yeah. I'll try my luck here and in other places I come across, too. Okay. Um, what are you doing? Remind me what a Shamaz does. I heal wounds of the flesh. Lately, my moons have been filled with healing harvesters who fall from the trees. Sorry, can you tell me who you are again? Of course. I am Nemet, the Shamas of Emiya. I like how they give you that. So, you see down here, I can press right trigger in a conversation and it brings up any word that's highlighted that like I might not know it. They actually give you an explanation for it. That is amazing. So, where is that Daramon okay. of yours? And how can I score it quick? Aeneas Daramon that? doesn't That's awesome. exist yet. The chief of the village creates a Daramon as a token of gratitude. Speak to my fellow Talans, and they will tell you how you can help them. If you're a good friend to Amiya, it's Daramon you shall receive. Good luck with that, so though. Yeah. How to make friends on alien worlds. I must have left that book <laughs> on the shelf. I'll try my luck here and in other places I come across, too. All right, let's heal up and go. Can you heal me? Brace yourself. The odds guide my hands. Take care, Nemet. Yeah, Nemet. All right, there's a market. There's a guy up there, so we got to get up there. Where is... 
Where's my bouncy flower things? No, no. There we go. Oh, yeah. That was a little too much. Crap, that was too much. Where's my uh, market? Oh, there's little fruits I can get up there. Oh, crap, that was him. Oh, crap, that's a traitor. Upgrader, what? Okay, we have an upgrader. I should have gone over there. Son of a... Where's my uh, bouncy flower? Oh, crap. Just cracked my head on that. Oh, God. Maybe I'll just use the stairs. Uh, use the stairs! Yeah, I know. <laughs> I do like the fact that there's no fall damage whatsoever. You have a jetpack that you just fire off right before you hit the ground, and you don't have to do any of that stuff. It's all automatic. I want to go to the trader. I like the fact that you can go the actual route, or if you need to, you can just climb up there like this. Look at that. That's beautiful. You can do it the, the stupid way, the Jason way, and it works. Hi. Can I have a minute? Of course. Oh, trade. Yes, I can trade with him. Uh, Z Dog Sap. That sounds like a uh, Fallout. <laughs> Z Dog? Well, who is it? Oh, God. Who was the radio guy in Fallout? It wasn't Z Dog. Who was it? It was something dog. Upgrade your orange shirt? I probably should. <laughs> I could sell. Oh, I could sell my uh, Ventilope statuette. An adorable statue of a Ventilope. It's certainly valuable. Yeah. I sell it for 50. Don't sell any of that. So. T-Dog! Is it 3-Dog? Yeah, it's 3-Dog. Yeah, it's 3-Dog. <laughs> you can jetpack three times. Oh, well, I can't wait, Thomas. So, you can upgrade stuff. We noticed we can upgrade our, our weapons. I'm sure you can upgrade the uh, the jetpack, all that kind of stuff. So, I can't wait to get there. What does it say? It looks like I need meat in order to get this. Or do I give him sap in order to get it? I don't even know. Ingredients? Okay, fine. Can't do anything with that. Where'd the trader go? Up oh, there he is. Merchant. Yeah! Excuse me while I land. <laughs> hey there. Any goods to sell? The Dauka allows me to restock. Do you have any Zorkins for me? That's a different voice. When we talked to him before, it wasn't the same voice. So I can do green heridium, red, Z Dog Sap, um, Ganda Plant, Greater Ganda Potion Recipe. I don't have any money for. I don't have enough money for all this stuff. I, I have enough for a Ganda Plant, a valuable plant that can only be found in the wilderness. Slightly increases cutter resistance to damage for 120 seconds. So it's a, a consumable that's not permanent. Sticky yellow substance extracted from Z Dog when cut. When its stem is cut, it can be used to, as a crafting resource. All right, where's the upgrader at? I saw him earlier. Village chief is down there. Where'd the upgrader go? Belaton guardian. Oh, there's a weaver. Is that for your clothes? Probably. Let me just steal now this real fast. <laughs> Oops, excuse me while I steal your stuff. I'm guessing Weaver is like for your clothes. Maybe I could get a different shirt that's not orange. Don't mind if I do. Steal all of your stuff. Excuse me. Nope, I was not totally not in your house. Uh, we haven't met yet. I am Cutter Slade, and you are? You don't know? I am Zotil, the most spectacular weaver in all of Emia. And most humble. And most humble. Love the shirt. Where did you get it? Uh, thanks. It's a limited edition. Limited. Let me know if you're willing to sell it to me. 
Um, can I buy stuff from you? I want a different shirt. Who are you again? Hello, Zotdil. I'm only the most fantastic weaver in all of Emea. Can I can I buy stuff from you? I can't do anything. Okay, fine. Good meeting you, Zotdil. Stay gold, Cutter Slade. Stay gold. I like that. That's pretty good. Stay gold. Okay, so there is a hammer. Okay. Are you hearing me? Always. Emerheed, one of my Dolotai guardians, came across an ancient altar. Can you take a look? Marking its position on the map. Yeah, sure. If you think it's important. Thank you, Ulakai. I think it's connected to the Essence Shrine nearby. I found similar altars before, but never figured out how the ancients were using them or why. Say no more. You got me intrigued. You got me intrigued. Ulakai, if Emerheed's intel is right, there should be an ancient altar close to your location. Can you find it? Ancient altar. Sure. I'll have a look. Slate out. Let me upgrade my stuff real fast. Did you run out of space? Maybe our news can help you. <laughs> this guy have a southern accent? Is that what I just heard? Is that what I just let me, let, we need to hear that again. This guy have a southern accent? Is he from the like the rural south of America? <laughs> See you next moon. Did you run out of space? Maybe our news can help you. <laughs> I love this game so much. This is such a good game. It is so good. Uh, here we're doing two things at once. Oh yeah. I'm sure Heather is probably busy. Oh God. Back to work. Have a great stream. Back to work. Thank you so, so much for hanging out as, and if you guys are not following as, as wrath gaming, Go check out his channel. He does a lot of cool, like, No Man's Sky stuff, but he also does, like, uh, what is it? Um, Star Citizen. I wanted to call it Space Engineers. I don't think you do Space Engineers. I know you do Star Citizen. Uh, I love, love this game. It is so, it's, it's the perfect amount of cheese. It's not too much, and it's not, like, accidental cheese. It's intentional, but it's perfect, like a perfect level of it. Got a southern accent guy who's gonna work on my stuff. I love it. Plant supply upgrade. Oh, man, I need a whole bunch of Zorkins for this, huh? Talon beacon upgrade? Uh, reduces the cooldown time between each beacon use. Potion supply, greater potion, Buddha supply. I need a lot of Buddha. Uh, increases the amount of Buddhas that can be carried. I'm guessing that's a potion. I want to upgrade my weapons, though. You don't upgrade weapons? All right. So, I mean, I guess I just have to upgrade it in my menu here. Like, I can upgrade here. What about here? I don't have any of this. What is this? Undiscovered progress in the progress in the main quest line to unlock it. Okay. So I'm guessing these upgrades come later on once I, you know, finish some missions. Maybe I should do some missions and get that done. I like how there is a, a circle where you're going to land. So you know exactly where you're going to smash down. Boom! Alright. Where's my chief at? Chief Hazo! Uh, I'm calling it now. It's all a dream with a conflict due to divorce drama. In the end, he saves his marriage. Vice? I don't think that's it. I think it's gonna be very much Avatar. I think that he is like in a, um, he's like in a coma, but he's projecting his conscious somewhere. <laughs> You look important. Spoiler alert for Avatar. Can I have a minute? <laughs> Wherever you come from, they must have taught you how to properly address a chief. I am Hatsu, leader of the MA. A MA. And who might you be, funny one? I am Cutter Slade. I'm Cutter Slade. Not sure if you've heard of me. Ah, uh, yes, the Ulukai I've been warned about. Emi is not interested in your stories. Oh, really? I would offer you a delicious morag on your way out, but supplies are limited. Just give me a minute. What are you afraid of? I was elected supreme in front of the yards. I am not afraid of anything. That's in the game, okay. Now listen. We already have one useless troublemaker in this village. We don't need another. Who is that? You haven't met Doc yet. Doc? He's by the lake. You should visit him and swap your ridiculous stories about saving the planet. <laughs> what about the invaders? Those invaders everyone's worried about. 
Have you fought them? Why would I? I want to stop negotiations with them to ensure Emir's safety. Negotiations? You see what they're doing out there. They'll take your land and enslave you. Don't spit your violence at me. You want us to provoke the invaders. Emir is peaceful. We sell fruit. Nothing more. Listen, Chief Hadzo, the Yod sent me here for a reason. I can help if you let me. Have you ever walked through the charred ruins of the Procriana Library? Scattered in the dirt are the remains of a hundred victims. There are no martyrs in Emir, and no heroes. Not yet. We don't need any Ulukai here. That is why we live. Okay. Just how are the negotiations going? I haven't met one that I could have a conversation with so far, but I am committed to making the effort. I believe the invaders have some unfinished business in Desan. I just want to send them a signal that we are willing to collaborate, if it can speed up their departure. Where I come from, they don't like collaborators during a war. War? Would you stop with the violence? There are no warriors here. Now go. Leave me. Drink morag juice in the treetops. What's your take on Doc? Our Doc? The son of Kazmir? Fools breed fools. And I despise fools. What more can I say? What happened in Procriana? It was Adelpha's center of knowledge and science. Until those stupid Dolotite guardians arrived to wreak havoc. They convinced the recreators to help them storm the invaders' bases and fight with everything they had. They lost. The recreators all reverted. Mm -hmm. I'm smart enough to see that war never works. As long as I am leader, Emir will not fight. What are you up to? I work hard to keep Emir out of trouble. My people are counting on me. I am their leader. Okay. What can you tell me about Kazmir? He was obsessed with prophecies. The kind of stories told by the late Dolotai guardians. He dragged me on an excursion once to marvel at some stupid stone with runes he probably etched himself to get attention. I'm sad his son has followed in his footsteps. That's all for now. That's all Bye. for now. All right, old fat. Thank you so much for hanging out while you can. Yes, play some Valheim. I'm in a little danger. I'm a little uh, 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 jealous, man. I need to. I need to jump in and do some more uh, Valheim. I need to finish off my portal hub in Valheim. We might be doing that on Monday and get some of that finished off. That way, I can be at least you I'm know semi done. You, Where are you? I'm still in Amia. You heard about some troublemaker named Doc? Kazimir's son. Doc is a good Talon. Maybe a little lost, unsure of his essence, like his whole generation. What's wrong with this generation? Let me guess. It's those damn video games. No. There hasn't been a conversion ceremony in a dozen cycles. I love it. It's too dangerous to bring our youth to the well of essence. So these young Talons have no essence? Everyone has an essence. They're just not sure which of the four essences are theirs. The ceremony is meant to reveal exactly that. Oh, I was a teenager once. It can get pretty confusing. They figure it out. Eventually. Slay it out. <laughs> Those dang video games. I want to just mention, look at this. There's actually an animation for me putting my knee up on it, or my foot up on a uh, stool. That usually doesn't happen. That's pretty good. I like that. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. It's both. That's good. Holy crap. Okay. Hey there. Uh, can we talk? Greetings, stranger. My name is Moore. <laughs> Have you come to register? Register. For what, exactly? You know what? Forget it. I can tell by your hands you're not capable of working here. You're that Ulakai, are you not? You'd think the odds would bestow you with better hands. Um, what's wrong with them? Too many fingers for you. 
<laughs> Your hands are perfect for sewing tunics and baking grease cakes for the conversion ceremony. Now go. We do real work in the treetops. <laughs> okay, okay. We have a uh, an upgrade guy who's from the south. And we have more. He's like some plumber from New York. I love it. This is amazing. <laughs> I just wonder what kind of job would require big, I mean, strong fingers like yours. I guess it's your first time in a meal. On these trees, we cultivate the most delicious morags on a delta. My name is Moore. I am the grand foreman of the Harvester Union. Oh, really? He's a foreman. foreman. Sounds important. <laughs> yes. Harvesters are more than simple farmers. Oh. The best morags grow close to the moons on the tops of the highest trees. Very dangerous to gather. Only young, vigorous Talons can reach them. In my early moons, I would dance across the branches without fear. But now, the heights make me dizzy. So I took on new responsibilities. <laughs> I love this. Everyone, they're all in the same village too, so they all have different accents. Don't worry about that though. <laughs> Where can I find Doc? He usually hangs around the shops. The merchants trick him into buying useless junk like clunky diving equipment and other things that never work. Or you can look for him at his father's cabin by the lake, northwest from here. He is probably exploring those lakes like his father before him. Not swimming, that's for sure. He'd revert himself in a bucket of water. I don't know what he does. Some secret project. He should be up here. Gathering armfuls of more rags for the next convoy. Holy crap, he has all the info. Are you and Hatso friends? There are no friends in politics. Hatso's and Mia's leader. But he <laughs> believes we can nice. negotiate with the yes. enemy. <laughs> and Mia is lucky the invaders are not after more. Sounds like you're in the opposition party, more. Are you campaigning for village leader? Each ground citizen of Amir has the right to challenge the leader in front of the yards. I did. Twice. But I failed. They say three is the magic number. The citizens of Amir still see me as the unworthy Talan from the treetops. No matter how low I descend, I still need better Morag numbers so I can prove my value to them. What are you doing here? When I'm not supervising the harvest, I'm recruiting new workers for the treetops. Tell me more about Casimir. You know enough. I don't want to waste any more words on losers. <laughs> I like they, they have a particular way to talk and they don't get our idioms. And he pulls out losers. <laughs> it's like, what? Wait a minute. How do you know what a loser is? Anything I need to know about Zatil? <laughs> Show him your delicate hands if you need any work. Sorry, who are you again? I am Moore, Chief Harvester of Emir. All right, I think we got everything. Time to go. Bye, Moore. Okay, I think we got enough information here. <laughs> uh, so let's say, let's get some uh, combat. Oh, purple stuff. Oh no, no, sorry, it's just lights. Dang it! You fooled me with your purple lights. I thought I'd need get some purple stuff. Well, hopefully there's no snakes in here. So let's look at our map. Now we got a whole bunch of stuff out here. All right. So we can uh, do the Gork eruption. Another Gork er eruption here. So let's go after the eruption, I guess. Let's see. mark it. Is it marked? It is. Okay, good. Per perfect. Let's go. Go around the uh, portal. The uh, skill tree, you have enough blue heridium, or hel I keep calling it heridium, sorry. Helidium to unlock a new jetpack upgrade. Press the menu to open it up. Oh, nice. There's where the upgrades are. Oh, no, no, sorry. Upgrades over here. Select the battery upgrade and press A to upgrade it. So jetpack, look, we have upgrades for everything. And I mean, it's not like a super in-depth tree with like a thousand different options, but I, I like the fact that they have upgrade trees for your weapon, for your 
uh, jetpack for combat. Like, you get different skills. Look at this. Boom. And we need... Oh, we need purple for this as well. You need a lot of purple stuff to unlock everything. Holy mackerel. And then we have our, uh, our modules for our gun. And what is it? Okay, we haven't done this yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. That's all right. Uh, the farm uh, sim type uh, spreading across the galaxy. Oh, dude, light, uh, light year. I was looking at that. We might have, we might play some of that on Friday. I'll put it up for a vote probably tomorrow. There's a few games are coming so fast, you guys. We got Dragon's Dogma. We got uh, Light Year just came out. We have this Outcast. There's a lot of good games out there, so I want to try to jump into all of them. But there's only so much time in the day. There's, so much, there's only so much time. <laughs> Let's clear this out over here. Oh, shit. Here they go. Olakai, watch out. You're approaching a Gork eruption. Do you see it? A, a what now? You don't get these kind of calls sitting behind a desk, I'm telling you. Gork has been erupting from the depths of Adelpha. It started with the invasion. Beyond saw it as some kind of natural defense mechanism triggered by the planet to fight our enemies. But Gork can infect animals and turn them berserk. So please be careful. Okay, I'll put a cork in that. Gork. It's laid out. Yeah. I'll put a cork in that Gork. Sound good. That's really loud. Holy cow. The, the audio balance is kind of off on this. Let's get to this. How do I, how do I stop this? Destroy the Keric Barrows. Oh, okay. So there's a barrow? Can I destroy this? No. Where is the burrow at? Over here? Oh, I got a melee at. There you go. There we go. How do I destroy this thing? I feel like I need to destroy this thing. No? Oh, wait. Excuse me, little bug. Is this thing? Where's the, where's the burrow at? Oh, give me that. Wait a minute. What is this? Crafting potions. Creature resources can be combined with certain plants to create powerful potions. Talk to Ganda Holopots in villages to craft them. Okay. Where's the... Uh, I mean, how do I destroy this thing? This feels like this is what I have to destroy. I can't. I'm gonna run out of ammo pretty quick here. How do I destroy this? I was just gonna say that unity quest. Wait a minute. Uh, alien spiders. Oh, yes, dude. Nasty things. They keep popping out of here, though. Oh! That's what you've gotta keep doing. I thought I killed it the first time. Okay, never mind. I take it back. I didn't kill it, actually. I thought I did, because I only hit it once. Now I can shoot this. Clear the gork. Oh, wait a minute. Interact? Nice. Could be useful later on. All right, I got... What is this? Uh, melee power, or melea power. Clearing the gore corruption granted you the melea power. Press both uh, sticks in when your melee gauge is full to freeze all enemies around you for a moment. Okay. The melee gauge increases slowly over time, and when receiving damage, clear more gore corruptions to improve the melea power. Got it. So now we know how to do that. Okay, I didn't realize I had to kill this thing all the way down to the root. So now we know. And knowing... Wait a bit. There you are. I should have probably done G.I. Joe. That would probably be better. I ripped the heart out of that gork plant. The smell stopped instantly. I guess that's a good sign. That's wonderful. And just in time. The gork eruptions infected Atalan. Chief Hatso had to cage him because of his erratic behavior. 
You should check on him. Can't say I'm looking forward to it, but I will. I will. Slate out. There's some enemies over here. Are they up there? Where are these enemies at? I see them on the mini map. I guess not. They're, they don't officially exist. Afternoon, Jason and Chet. Well, afternoon, Buddha. And then uh, rocket launcher, nuke it from orbit. Yes. 100% just nuke it. So we've done that. I like how it grays out and it gets an X over it when you've done it. I, that's perfect. Well, we've done... Uh, wait a minute. That's not activated yet. The Okas are... We have not activated that one yet. We have that one. We have the uh, camp. Essence Shrine. Let's do this Essence Shrine since we're close. While we're here. Let me heal up a little bit. Ooh, what is this? What is this? It's a stone of some kind. What is this? All right, we'll come back. I feel like that's going to be something important later on. That map looks like a cyberpunk one, kind of. I think cyberpunk is, is more like tilted and it has more detail. Like you actually see the, the buildings and stuff, but it's pretty close. In, in general, the uh, map colors, like they designate stuff, they're going to be similar. That way everyone kind of gets the pattern of, oh, green things are good, red things are bad, that kind of stuff. Little spider don't like you. I would, maybe I should, sh wait a minute, what did I get? Oh, there you go, there's my power. There you are, that's what it is. So as you as you take out those uh, things, those growths, you get your powers. Let's, tr weapon module. Let's try that. So this is gonna be fire slower, but it does more damage per shot. So that might be the benefit. Let's see, I can, do, I can start sniping people, or uh, aliens. Now there's no fog, I can go wherever I want, I like it. I got a double jump. Oh yeah, I upgraded my uh, my jetpack earlier, so I got an extra battery. And I'm guessing you can get even higher, or more powerful jumps. I'm just, I'm doing it the most difficult way ever. And BOOM! Spotted me. Yeah, we're starting to get item drops from enemies. I like it. Here we are. Yeah, we're... I like it. So... But the problem, though, is I gotta go where they land. That way I can pick up their pieces. What is this? Oh! It's a feather? One Makaru feather. Makari feather. Hey, right, where's the shrine at? Oh my god, do I need to use a target sweeper? I swear to god. All right, these guys are definitely going to need a machine gun. I need to switch back. <laughs> machine gun is way better. Where's this shrine at? Up higher? Oh, can't go up there. Let it recharge a little bit. 
Oh, am I just collecting feathers? I think that's what it is. I'm just supposed to climb up here and collect the feathers, maybe? Let's go back to our map. What is this? What, what do we do here? Find the altars and catch the essence to open the shrine. Difficulty level one. Complete the shrine's parkour in time to access this essence and increase the cutter's health. All right. Missing skills. I'm... I need a... Okay. I need a... Uh, I need another skill, I guess. Because I need to fly around. It looks like. I'm about to run out of ammo. So, Jason, any good, Paul? I am really digging it. I am really liking this game. So, definitely depends on your flavor of RPG. But it's cheesy, but in the right way. Like, in a, it's a really good cheesy uh, game. And the fact that, yeah, it just, it kind of opened. Oh, God. Okay, that branch was uh, not there. <laughs> There's no hitbox on that branch. Anyway, but so it's it's I would say it's like if you compare it to like an early uh, 2000s RPG, we're talking like Fable or mid 2000s like Fable or not Fable uh, Mass Effect feels like that, which I like locate the essence shrine mechanism. Oh, is it down? Did I go too high? I literally, oh my god, I was above it the entire time, you dork, Jason. I didn't even realize it was below me. Let me grab my plant. I didn't realize. There's no arrow on it, so I didn't know if it was above me or below me. I went way too high, <laughs> dummy. All right, let's go. Let's see if it'll even let me do it. I don't have a... When I go to the map and I look at it, it says missing skill up here. And it has like a little, um, almost like a flying uh, jetpack kind of thing. So maybe I cannot do it. But we're going to try. Let's see if I can. That must be the essence shrine Lee has told me about. Okay, I do locate the mechanism. Is it down here? I forgot I have my scanning thing. Jason is rubbish. I am rubbish. <laughs> For sure. Uh, I don't see any mechanisms. I thought of a way that I could enjoy the uh, target sweeper. Tag a resource you want to find and let the target sweeper guide you to it. Well, I mean, yeah, there is that aspect, but... The, the downside is it's not optional on a mission objectives. That's what kills me. If it was just for locating resources, i will get behind that. I love it. But when you use it for everything, that's what kills me. It's like it doesn't need to be used for everything. It's like saying you know, cars are useful, but I don't need a vehicle. I don't need a car to drive me from my office to my downstairs living room. So you don't have to use it every time. <laughs> There are some cases where it's useful, but there's other cases where it's not. Is it all the way down here, maybe? This might be it. I see something down here. What is this? Oh, I got a plant. Okay. Excuse me while I steal your uh, statue. I don't know how to activate the shrink. Full of talents, Ulukai. I'm sure you didn't call to flatter me, Lias, so. What do you want? To humbly offer you a token of the Dolotai Guardian's gratitude. I've marked a position on your map. It's a surprise. A mystery prize? You definitely know how to push my buttons, Lias. I can't wait to look this up. Really? Out. Okay. Locate the essence shrine mechanism. I mean. Oh, 
Okay, so now we have hidden uh, target things over here. Oh, it's in a part of the map I don't have anything yet. Do I need to unlock a tower to unlock that part of the map? <laughs> oh. I don't know how to... I don't know where the mechanism is. I'm looking around here. Can I open this door? Nope, not working. Is it above? There's nothing on the scan. I can't get up there. And we're gonna have to come back later. I don't know how the heck. There's nothing up here. Not seeing anything here. So I probably need something before it unlocks. Cause I have a feeling that door is just blocking me, but it's blocking me on purpose. Cause I don't have the right equipment to do that. Let's do the, uh, the side thing. Let's, uh, cork the gork. <laughs> I hate you, alien spiders. Alien spiders! It's a double dash as well. I like it. Oh, there's a thing down here. Let's get some more... Healing plants. Can never have too much. What was that? Oh, there's a shrine over here. What is this? A red thing. Oh! Red heridium. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Nothing here. No scan. Let's take They're out. Me. Oh, there's two of the burrows here. Okay. Oh, what the? I've smelled nicer things. The other one, I also grab this. The uh, Carrick eggs. Where'd my other thing go? I saw another one around here. Where is it at? Oh, there you are. This thing out and upgrade. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks useful. Beautiful. Oh, there's a hut over there or a house. Can't take any more. At least for now. Oh, I only can carry 10. <laughs> well, I do have uh need to refill my health anyway. So there we go. This game looks cool and is a great to watch, but I think I might be low on the replay value. I do. Th I think that as well. I think it's probably a one and done thing. I think it's glitching out. It's just what I need. But I do think that it's probably worth the price if you're into this kind of game. Even if you're just playing it once, I'll come back and play it again. But I, I, I like what it's doing. I like all the, the cool uh, ideas behind it. The exploration. They kind of have a, a... Not a gigantic, like, you know, Witcher 3 or Grand Theft Auto map. 
but it's pretty, pretty decent. It's a decently sized map. This feels like a bad place. Oh, maybe not. Okay. There's a lot of animals over here. I don't like this. Oh my god! You have to melee them? That's not cool. Yeah, these are zeros. Oh my god. So some enemies are only meleeable. <laughs> oh god. So if it's blue, okay, they color code it. If they're blue, they have to be meleeed, huh? Okay, we'll get some uh, armor pieces here. I also got some meat. <laughs> Gamore or is it gamer? Gamore. <laughs> it's gamore meat. That's a big base over here. Um, Emma base one. The WFA is using experimental technology in an attempt to extract essence from the trees in this area. Uh, difficulty one, destroy the generator to unlock the white holidium container for the Khazar's spear. I mean, we're here. Might as well do it, right? This is very... This is very Avatar. I would say Fern Gully. For me, it's Fern Gully. This looks like Fern Gully to me. <laughs> oh... All right, so we're going to have a whole bunch of robots here. I'm generally a one-and-done gamer, except when it comes to No Man's Sky, of course. I mean, yeah, there's some games where you want to go back, and there's other games where I go back and play it just because I want to, not because they have a lot of replay value. So a game I'm going to go back and replay uh, soon is going to be Fancy Alpha Protocol. Module. Cool. I don't know if, if you guys know about Alpha Protocol. It just got released on GOG. They finally got it back, all the licensing and stuff. So I immediately downloaded it. That way I can have it forever. Oh, I can't wait to jump into some uh, alpha protocol, man. Oh, I can't wait. Scales harvested from a uh, Nagamor and body. It can be used as a crafting resource. So key items. Oh, we do have a... Did not want to let me get into the key resources? Uh, Makari feather, valuable and colorful feathers, often found in uh, ventilope nests. A gork core extracted from the corruption's viscera. It's hard to think someone would have any use for this thing. Or is it? So these are key items. Those are important items, I guess. And then Rimrocks, thank you for being a member for five months. Very much appreciated. Saying, hi, Jason and chat. Are you winning? I am winning. Fern Gully. Yep, Fern Gully is so good. If you guys have not watched Fern Gully, it is a awesome, awesome cartoon. I think from like 94. It is amazing. It has some, you know, tones to it, of course. It's about environmentalism and blah, blah, blah. But Batty is the best character of all time. I love Batty in uh, Fern Gully. <laughs> Which Tim Curry song, Buddha? I'm a sweet trans. <laughs> Are we doing. No, no, no. It's uh, the, the time warp. That's what we're doing. Time warp again. Oh, come on. All right, let's go after some of these uh, robots. Oh, God. I'm not used to the uh, slower shots here. Oh, my God. And these guys have some... These guys have some health. Yeah, okay. Well, they dropped the purple stuff. That's what I need. I need the purple stuff. Oh, 
Uh, nano cells. Oh, I just got enough to get another upgrade. Oh, it just instantly brings you over here. Okay, fine. Let's do it. So now I can do my machine gun and... I can do my, uh, thing here. All right. Machine gun and the, uh, concussive shot. So, damage 40%, fire rate minus 20, but then the machine gun, fire rate plus 75, damage minus 25. So, does that balance out? What does that balance out? Is it better or worse? What is it going on here? I'm going to say better. I'm just going to say naturally, that's better. That's a better one. Oh, they keep spawning. That's not good. I don't want to deal with that. Oh, that's what. Don't need that. There's a red box. I like that. What is this? Oh, it's unlocked. Or it's locked. How do I unlock this thing? Explosive barrels. That's never good. That looks bad. Oh, I have to destroy those. That way it doesn't put out anymore. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. Gotcha. Oh, it's not a one-shot kill on you, huh? I thought it was. Maybe not these guys. These guys are upgraded. What the heck? Where are you coming from? Oh, over there. Oh, they're sniping. Really? Sniping me from across the way. Well, you have to unlock these terminals. I learned how to read books written in Braille. Gunboat. I have... That's crazy. Wait a minute. Uh, reading a horror novel right now. Something really bad is about to happen. I can feel it. Thank you for that. I like that gumbo. That's pretty good. <laughs> I can feel it, huh? I can feel it. I keep wanting to reload, but we don't have to reload in this game. Well, I'm going to cheat it. I'm going to run across this. Go. Unlock this terminal, I guess. This will be number two. Getting a lot of purple stuff. I like it. guy at skill tree you have enough nano cells man they would they slap you in immediately they're like hey you got a whole bunch of upgrades man go in there so now i have an advanced arm device used for protecting wearer oh yeah i can do this so i can upgrade my shield uh improves the armor reducing damage taken or the shield can take more damage before breaking i haven't even used my arm shield like it, there's an actual built-in shield i haven't even used it <laughs> Uh oh! Oh no! Yeah, yeah damn internet! It it uh, it just uh, dropped a little bit. That was on my end, you guys. My uh, my internet provider is so good, so good. So yeah, that was on me. So yeah, it looks like we can either get our arm shield better or our actual physical arm shield around us. We can get more melee damage or upgrade module. Unlocks the ability to upgrade your weapon modules on the weapon screen. Oh, really? We have to unlock the ability to do that? I get the first one for free? Come on! I think I was interrupted. It probably was, uh, Taren. Alright, let's go. Let's do our, uh, armor upgrade here. Not enough nano cells. All right.
Let's go up here. Come on. I guess they're down below. There you are. Sorry, I'm trying to find you guys. Hello. That body just turned. And I don't see anything other than my big yellow. Oh, there's a green box out there. Let's go after that green box. Green box is good. What the? How do I get over there? Oh, there's a door. Duh. Whoa! What was that? That guy was hardcore. New weapon module. Nice. Headshot booster. Projectiles deal more damage on weak points. Like a head. I like that. Uh, now, why are these ones down here? Like, I have my machine gun module up here, but why is this one down here? Is it linked with something else? Heat uh, per shot plus one. Are these like muzzles? I don't even know. Uh, Comcast has detected an energy shield. Probably, dude. Oof, I don't even know. When I when I can finally upgrade to fiber, it'll be amazing. It will be glorious. Get off of uh, get off of my current provider. <laughs> um, what is going on here? Why do I have a glow on me? I don't understand what's happening here. I got an arrow to the upper left. Oh, it's my map arrow. What? Oh, wait a minute. That's my cursor. Sorry. Oh my god, my, my literal mouse? That's killing me. Do I not have any health? Oh god, I don't have any health. That's what I did. I ate my extra uh, plant without uh, thinking about it. I thought I was healing myself. Crap. That one's good. Oh, there's some stuff in here. Let's see if I can get some health. Go, go, go. Saw a green box out here. Can't, can't ignore the green boxes. They might have good stuff in them. That's in a different building. Okay, let's go over here. I think I had one more over here that I can open. I don't think I did. I think I started two and then I got attacked, so I stopped. That's a big thing. What are we getting out of here? Oh, just some uh, nano cells. Okay, macro cell. I don't even know what a macro cell is. Is it up there? Come on. If this looks like the one, it's red, so I don't think I've activated it yet. Two now, Jason. Yo, Alex, hello. Now do I have to go grab this thing? Oh, destroy it. That sounds like a bad idea. Just standing right next to it as I explode it. Oh 
Okay. Boom. Slade one, lousy tin can zero. Got a whole bunch of the purple stuff. So I think I've gotten everything here, right? Oh, there's a, there's a green box up there. We gotta go check that out. Unlock the officer's quarters. Let's do it. The music sounds out of place in this game, or is that just me? It is. So they had combat music, even though I wasn't in combat. Well, there was one enemy, and so the combat music keeps playing until the enemies are gone. <laughs> so that was kind of a weird bug. Go to the officer's quarters. Where is it at? I need some health, man. I'm about to die. I just realized I only have two uh, bars of health out of, like, what, the 15? <laughs> so that's not good. I guess officer quarters are over here. That looks like health on the beach. Let's go get this health. And some ammo. If there's someone on this channel, please come in. What the? Who are you? You don't remember? We're not exactly friends. But I could be a valuable ally. Who is this? One. You're with the invaders. Invaders? Guess that's one way to put it. Yes, I'm with the WFA. But I disagree with our general's leadership. And that's supposed to make me instantly trust you. What's your name, soldier? How about I remain anonymous and offer you a much better weapon as a gesture of goodwill? If you're trying to buy me, add a foot massage. My boots are killing me. <laughs> that's sarcasm you can't fake. Commander Cutter Slade, it's really you. In the flesh, am I famous or something? Unbelievable. This is a game changer. I, I'll be in touch. Hey, hold on. Wait. If you know me, you might know my daughter. Her name's Camilla. Tell her I'm coming home soon. I'm sorry. I can't get involved in your family affairs. Find the gear at the coordinates I'm sending you. I deactivated the security system so you can enter the facility, but be quick. I don't know how long it will last. Signing off. Fine, I'll do it. At least tell me how Camilla's doing. Hello? How hard is it to answer a simple question? Maybe something happened. No one believes he's cut or slayed. Like, maybe there's something bad that happened. Neutralized bases retrieves gear mentioned by the mysterious man from an outpost near Amiya. Let's see. It's down here. Okay, so we have better gear. Retrieve the gear mentioned by him. Does it say what it is? It's a weapon of some kind. I was hoping for more armor, but eh. So we have her weapon out here. Let's try that. Because she left something over here that we can get next to this essence shrine. Oh, uh, the music sounds off. Yep. <laughs> Jason, do you play Space Engineers? I have not. So I've jumped in a little bit. I have not really do dove deep into uh, Space Engineers. So I played a little bit. Not much, though. I know Beeble Bum and, uh, and uh, Survival Bob have, and I'm. it makes me want to play it, simply because it looks really fun whenever they are playing it. But I haven't really dove in on my own. I need some health. I don't think I get to any of these plants. What is this? An egg? A bird egg? That seems good. Yes, give me some health uh, plants. I need that. We should check. Do I have enough for upgrades here? So I have 164 of the purple. I need more than that. 
What about here for my, uh... I need blue Heridium for this. All right. So I need the, my Jet Sprint. Whoa. What about combat? I need a hundred. I can, I can do that. More uh, melee damage. Module upgrade. One. Unlocks the ability to upgrade your weapon modules on the weapon screen. Oh, wait a minute. Upgrade the modules themselves. What about this one? It further improves armor, reducing damage taken. I might do that one. So I need 200 for both. Dodge attack of projectiles at the last moment to slow down time for a short duration. Yeah, we're gonna, you know what? We're going to give ourselves some more armor because I have a feeling we're going to need more armor. And we don't have anything for that. Just because. The way I play, I am very, very reckless and I'm going to need all the armor I can get. We're going in this direction? I don't know that direction. Any more health? Oh, there's some bird things over here. Are you good? Hey, you. Okay, they're good. Okay, I don't want to shoot the innocent animals, just the bad ones. Oh, emus. It is a paired module for our weapons. So that's what it means, the, uh, these linked ones? Oh, wait a minute, we have another one here. Heat shot, oh yeah, we got that. So there's something else here? I don't know. No idea. Give me all these health. Little health plants, I'm gonna need a lot of them. Oh, these guys are red. The official plan we asked. Listen, I figured that the Daramons are one thing, yes, but if I'm gonna seek support in every village, I'd rather use the help of your fellow Tillhands to destroy the invaders' bases one by one. But I thought the message from the Yachts was about procreation and protection. Am I missing something? Come on, Lias. If you left Kizar, it's because you know the Almael are disconnected from reality. They don't understand who they're up against. Not like the Dolotai Guardians do. I know. Don't get me wrong. I know Okastok and the Spear are important for your culture, and I respect that, but the priority is to get the invaders off your world so Talans are safe and the Yods can send me home. You're right, Ulukai. I'm sure every village has something to offer in the uprising against the invaders. You just have to figure out what. Yan would be so proud of what we are doing for Adelpha. Trust me, there's only one language the enemy speaks, and we're gonna shout it until their ears are ringing from our attacks. Slayed out. Yeah. Would love to watch you play it. I have watched some of your videos. That's what I got me interested. I definitely would probably jump in there. Maybe we'll do a stream with uh, some space engineers. Oh, we're getting there. So this is a uh, Orem Trial or Trail. Follow the Orem Trail parkour opens as an uh, Orem chest. I get blue Heridium. Oh, I need that. So let's definitely do that. Is that a giraffe? What is this? Oh my, look at this. There are all kinds of uh, animals on this planet. Look at this. It's like a big giraffe. Is it bad? It looks like it might be good. Hey, big dinosaur looking giraffe. Look at how freaking thick that, that's a thick boy right there. Why is that plant glowing? Let's see. What is this? Ready for a challenge, Uzakai? I was born ready. Only quoting someone else here, but I'm ready now. Oh, do I have to hit it? For what exactly? Follow the trail of Oh, you do. Okay. Here. It should lead you to a special reward. If you're as skilled as you pretend to be, there will be more pleasant surprises. I will keep my eyes peeled then. Leave your eyes alone. <laughs> I will peel my eyes. Oh, nope. don't do that. A good slash should open that plant. 
Okay, that's pretty good. So Tell there's. Who he has. I didn't follow that trail for nothing, right? What was that about? Orem trails. Talk to Wiesel. I heard he's quite the expert. I'm marking his last known location on your map. Thanks for the tip. Slate out. So there's no time limit. It's just, hey, can you get there? So it probably requires like, hey, maybe you need a double jump or, you know, it requires different things on it, probably. That's what, what the requirement would be. I would imagine. Oh, yeah, portals everywhere. So we also have his uh, weapon over here. Can I fast travel? Can I not fast travel? Oh, no, no, there you go. Fast travel. <laughs> That's a thick boy right there. Oh. The odds are trying to show me something with these visions. Like what? Yeah. Every time you fast travel, huh? Are we gonna see mommy? Uh, let's talk a little bit first, baby girl. Just you and me. Come here. Whoa. You brought me a present? From another world? Oh, well, technically another dimension. <sighs> sure. My friend Zokra must have stashed it there before I... It's for you. Here. He gave her something. Something important. The necklace! It glows! It's an amulet. Made out of one of the magic stones they have on Adelpha. Mom got one too? It must look so good on her. That's what I'm hearing. Listen, Camilla. I have to tell you something. You'll have to be strong, baby girl. And it just stops? That's where the That's vision stops? the amulet Leas was looking for when we met. Yep. Guess I had it after all. Before I gave it to Camilla. So I did have the amulet. So I was here before. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe Slate died and he was reincarnated or brought back to life. And now everyone's freaking out like, what? He's just supposed to be dead. Please, I'm desperate, dragon. I have no idea. I can't read all the, tra I don't see anything above it. So I don't see anything. Dragon eggs with ketchup. I don't see a uh, chat from you unless I missed it. I know you're looking at chat, so please! I'm looking, I don't see anything. Sorry, buddy, I don't see anything here. Oh, really digging the game? I am too, Kevin. I am too. Her mom's dead, and that girl is the lady with the uh, general, obviously. Probably, Andy, probably. <laughs> you know, you get the story beats, you kind of, you can kind of figure it out. It's, uh, what would you, that's predictable. Oh, yeah, well, we have, um, our mission here. So we have... The Undiscovered Village Quest. Let's talk to the king or the, uh, village leader again. I talked to you earlier there, Hanzo. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Hi there. Ah, funny stranger. More funny business? The, uh, Morag? Morag fruit. They taste good. My citizens eat nothing else. The Morag nourishes, moisturizes, purifies our essence. Purifies. The lands from every corner of Adelpha used to come here and pay many Zorkins for its unique taste. You're making me hungry, Chief. Where can I get some? You can have your fill if you climb to the top of a tree. But don't let Grand Foreman Moore see you stealing one. He's far less accommodating than me. What's Moore's problem? Moore is a retired harvester from the treetops who dreams of becoming chief. The treetops people are simple people. One needs a certain down bringing to lead. Down, down bringing? You mean up bringing, right? I mean class and dignity. Only citizens of the ground have good social standing. The treetops are for uneducated people. Wow. Rude people. One cannot learn class. 
especially someone like Moore. Wow, okay, so it's just a different hierarchy or lower archy, I guess. Time difference? No. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Mmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything dragon egg. Sorry, man. Didn't see any chats though. I wish I could stay longer, but you have to go. Good. Good. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna go back and forth talking between Moore and the uh the leader. So the lower class is at the top, and you have to work your ass off to the bottom to access the upper society. Yes. <laughs> Weird logic. Where I'm from, the top is prime real estate. Only the less fortunate Talans live in the treetops. The young ones dream of climbing down the ladder of our society. Just like I did. Yes. Your social logic is really upside down. Who wants to be down on the ground? The view's amazing up there. Views don't pay, Ulukai. More rags pay. If I don't find harvesters, the citizens of Emiya will be eating Reese for every meal, and that idiot Hatzo will blame me for the recession. He'll toss me back up to the treetops. I'll be forced to watch sunsets from a wooden terrace instead of cleaning the dirt between my toes. A nightmare. Yeah. That sounds, <laughs> that sounds terrible. terrible. I wish I could help ease your pain. You could help me sooner than you think. Have you met Doc? He's a simple-minded lad. A big fan of the Ulakai fairy tale. A dreamer, but a damn good clown. Hey, I like fairy tales. Or some of them, at least. Doc was my best work. Unaware of his essence, he could climb higher than anyone. I had great hopes for him. What happened? Cosmere happened. Cosmere was Doc's father. Good for nothing slacker who fancied himself a treasure hunter. But he never found his treasure, so he never climbed down. He reverted himself in the lake searching for yard knows what. Now Doc has caught his father's madness. Good lord, you guys swinging on me. Come the new fool in town. A fool who believes in me. I mean, who believes in Ulukai. Sounds like a great guy. Doc has been spending all his hard-earned Zorkins on a secret project, taken straight out of a children's story. He refuses to return to work, but an Ulakai like you could succeed where I fail. Could you convince him to embrace his essence and fulfill his destiny in the treetops? I could do that. What can you tell me about Doc's secret project? He's Italian. I don't know anything about it. I just hope it's not the one that got Casimir reverted. Reverted means die. Death. Time to go. Bye, more. All right, we have to go talk to Doc. We've been putting that off for a while. Maybe we should go talk to Doc. Oh, there's a potion guy over here. Maybe I can make some potions. Mwan. Can you help me? I probably can. Best gondali pot around. Oh, yeah. Crafting. All right. So, oh, there you go. I saw these potions. I didn't realize what I needed. So the potion on the left, you have to have the ingredients in the center to make that potion. A potion from the water essence that has some healing powder. Power gives you 50 health. Increases Cutter's resistance to damage for 120 seconds. All right, let's just do uh, the Yuli potion. Did you see that? I had a craft maximum. You can craft one or the most you can make. I like that. That way you don't have to worry about holding it down forever to, to make sure it works. All right, we could sell some stuff. Oh, look, we have our valuable stuff. Resin. The light is reflecting nicely through this resin shard. It is certainly valuable. Okay, good. I like how they, they have your different stuff here that you can sell. Like, mm, can I use this for anything? A very shiny and valuable mushroom. The statuette looks like it's as old as time. It certainly is valuable. I have a feeling that if it says it's valuable, that means it's not used for anything else. And then, yeah, if, it, if it's used for a resource, it says, hey, it can't be used as a crafting resource. 
Oh, maybe not. Gamer, gamor meat does not say it. Uh, see, I don't want to sell something if it's going to be something I need for later on. Someone must be pretty pissed at you right now. It certainly is valuable. Uh, what type of game is this? Savage Clown. This is an RPG, but it's more like an old school RPG. So you're running around, you're doing quests for people, you're upgrading your gear and your character. But it's like, uh, I would compare it to like an early, like an original Mass Effect. Things like that. So it's, it has that same kind of feel. Not like, it's not as deep or as, uh, as uh, refined as like Witcher, like Witcher 3, but maybe like a Witcher 2, kind of like that. I don't want to sell anything I don't think I am able to recoup, so we're going to leave that. All right, where's Doc at? We have this, find the Essence Shrine. Oh, that's the one I was supposed to go to. I went up here instead. Um... But, uh, do I have a mission I can do? There is one priority mission available. Select the priority mission to track it. Where's my mission at? Oh, do I have to do it with this? Nope. I guess not. Where's, uh, where's Doc at? Hazo. I'm not seeing Doc. They said he was over by the river or the lake or something, but I guess not. Uh, look around here a little bit. Can I grab some of these? Can I even grab them? Yeah, we'll run out of space. All right. Well, screw it. Let's just do that. Let's do that shrine. Maybe we'll run into Doc on our way. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, is this the actual... No, that's not. Okay, I was going to say, is this the actual road? Uh, he's by the lake. I was looking by the lake. I didn't see him. What are you? I don't need you, snake. Get out of here. Something over here. Essence Shrine. Check. Just like that. We have all the stuff we could uh, sell, I assume. What is this? Okay, we gotta follow this red thing. Oh, this one has a time limit on it. Okay. This one has a time limit. Let's see how good I can do this. Aha! Oh, that was way easy. Okay. That one was easy. I'm guessing because it's the first one, it's the easy one. Yes. I did it. Looks like I unlocked some ancient mausoleum. Let me try to describe it to you. I see where you are. One of the essence shrines. You're inside it? Yup. Praise the yods. We knew essence shrines were important, but never found a way to enter them. 
I can't wait to tell Emerheed about it. it. Looks like the ancients left us a treat. Sweet. There are more essence shrines throughout Adelpha. If you unlock this one, I bet you could unlock them all. Talk to Emerheed at the Dolotai camp if you want to know more. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Lias. Slay down. So I got one extra bar of health. Okay. Jason, it was only easy because you're so good. I don't know about that. That's a that's a lie. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with it's easy because it was the first one. <laughs> uh. Well, let's head over there. I don't think I need any more red. Uh, there was a question uh, northeast of town between the two other unknowns. Probably have to do that one as well. Well, we're, we're going we're gonna to slowly get there. We'll work our way over there. I got to do all the side stuff. You know I get distracted easy, you guys. Up, oh, there's a thing over here. Oh god, that looks bad. Got that. These guys, these guys are hardcore. Give me that purple stuff. I need that for upgrades. Thank you. Oh, that's the spider. Oh, God. And it explodes. That's not cool. that we're good there we are this looks a bit similar to starfield kind of it doesn't have that much of a uh, bethesda feel to it though that, at least not to me got some green boxes i'll take that I see a red dot what is this so harmful. Oh, these guys. All right, so they're firing off uh, cannon stuff. Oh, monster things here. Gotta get up here to stop them from doing that. I like that the uh, upgrade materials you just pick up. Like, if you want to pick up, like, the uh, animal parts, you have to actually physically pick those up. But everything else, all the uh, the energy, like your ammo and stuff, it just auto-picks up. And it's pretty good. 
you don't gotta worry about client uh, claiming it manually. Uh, I'm guessing this is gonna be an important bit right here. Uh, this looks a bit similar to a bit, yeah, a bit. Oh, that's a Sorry, rifle. You're too late. Pull out. You hear me? The general's on his way. I'm not going anywhere. Slayed out. Oh, really? Boss fight? Slade? I know you. You're the problem. And I'm the solution. You can't be real. I... I saw you die. Well, you know the saying. What doesn't kill you makes you... <coughs> oh, really? You're right in the chest! You talk too much, Slade. Talk too much, man. Damn it. Not again. No one's used to leave you enough time to finish your punchlines. Beautiful. Come on. Commander Slade, how do you plead? Not guilty. Everyone but me was lost in action. It's not my fault. But it was your mission to keep them alive. Instead, you abandoned them and only secured transport for yourself. There was no one left to save except you guys on Earth. And that's exactly what I did. The jury has found you guilty of all charges. Wow. The sentence is death by firing squad. General, take the deserter to execution. Oh, immediately. Immediately. You're making a terrible mistake. I saved all of you. Raise weapons. Aim. You can't even pull the trigger yourself. You're a coward, Jack. For Marion. Fire! Oh, she was? was? Holy shit. Jack Borum executed me. How many times am I gonna let that guy kill me? <laughs> okay. Well, now we know. I was murdered by him, and he just did it again, twice. He's listened too much to uh, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> yes. He's a Taylor Swift. He's in the, he's the problem. Yes, he shook it off. Uh, switching weapons. You can now alternate between the gun and the rifle with Y. The rifle consumes red. Okay, so the red is my rifle. The green is for my pistol. All right, the advanced technological. Retrieve the new gear. I did get it. Okay. So let's go over here. So I can switch between. So replaces the auto fire by a manual shot and can be charged by holding the weapon. Ooh. A charge uh, shot. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's look at our upgrades here. So, I can upgrade my- I need a hundred, and I have a hundred and ninety of the purple stuff. Let's do it. So now I can upgrade my modules. Let's see if I can do that now. Can I upgrade it? Hold to get oh, you need purple- You need purple stuff to upgrade everything. Good lord. So, machine gun. That one. Level two and level two. So my pistol's still gonna be more powerful. It's a level two upgrades on that. All right, more pur more purple stuff. There we go. Am I back at the? Uh... Yep, I'm at Mia. So I don't see a, another question mark around here. Oh, uh, is that what the question mark is? That looks. Yeah, talk to Vizel about the Orem Trail. So I think that's too far. It has to be around the Amiya uh, Village. They said it's he's by the, the lake. Is that down here? That looks like a lake, right? This area? Let's go here and, and check out our gun. See how good the gun is. Our upgrades have gotten. Okay. 
Get all that red stuff. Beautiful. Getting all that green. Now we have all charged up. He's a space dirk for the daring. Exactly. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, Hunter. Azan. I'm still only doing six damage. What? Oh, there you go. That's some good. So let's change out to the rifle. All right, it does shoot a little bit slower, but it also does a lot more damage. All right. Well, we have some upgrades we're not using, so let's do the heat shot. Oh, we didn't yeah. Oh, I need to upgrade both of these slots again. Oh my god, a hundred. Oh my god. So, a charge slot. Let's do that. Let's put that on the uh, uh, rifle. That feels like it would be a good addition to the rifle. We're making games, Jason. Your voice would fit a character that we have. Tevix? I'm a, probably a terrible voice actor. You probably wouldn't want me. <laughs> you can always email me on the business uh, if you'd like. My business email is on the uh, webpage or in the youtube page but i would always highly suggest against it i'm probably terrible as a voice actor let's see what we can do let's get up here all right let's use this rifle okay i inhale poison gas that smell better than that plant Where's my, uh, I shoot with this? Nope, you gotta melee it, okay. There we go. Grab all these little body pieces here. There we go. Pick up that. Collect the Anatok diaries scattered around the world to learn more about Adelpha. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks useful. Yeah, got it done. So rifle definitely is more damage, but it's more... I don't know if there's bosses in this game, but it's probably made more for the bosses that you would run into. Versus anything else. You'd be a great VA. I don't know about that. Was that making a game or on the, uh, hey. uh, don't know. Don't know. So I see orange or yellow dots. I assume those are uh, people. So there's one behind me. Is it in the hut over here? Okay, so there's someone down here. Module part? I don't know what that is. Module parts. Find and collect module parts and bring them to Mazum at the Hermit's Shack to earn new modules. I'll take that. Is that what the orange thing was on the map? Or the yellow? Oh, it was! Okay. So these yellow markers are sites of interest, maybe? Because I just got a part out of there. So let's try to find this one. So this other house oh, over here. Sorry, I'm 
destroying your crops. Sorry. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a hut. So there might not be anything there, because I don't see anything here. Yeah, there's nothing. Dang it. I was all excited. I thought I was... That's how it worked. Let's go. We have our red. All of a sudden now, I've seen a lot more red. Red Heridium. Undiscovered objective. Talk to more Talons and explore Adelphi to learn your knowledge. Okay. So I still... Is that why I can't find him? Oh! It magically marked that location right there. That probably is where the uh, dock is over there. Huh. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Well, let's go in that direction. That's kind of nice. <laughs> it just marked that location for me. Uh, you would make a good voice in a uh, game, Jason. Maybe, maybe. It depends on the voice. If you need Ray Romano, I'm your man. Let's see nothing around here. Okay. I think we're good on the red. We need more of the, uh, the plants to heal up. Because I have potions. I have health potions, but I don't want to use those unless I really need to. Uh, circle over camp has one on it open and there's a new mission bottom left possible treetop mission maybe so let's look at that again bottom left yeah yeah okay yeah we just did that yeah i think that is going and talking to doc the uh the kid the child of kazoo so that's what we're doing as i'm running around here we might do this uh the Orem Trail, since we're right here anyway. So let's go over here to the right. Since I get distracted easy. Oh, dang, I just healed up for no reason. Gotta remember, up is heal. Up is heal. I keep pressing up to uh, scan. That is not it. Is this it? Nope. We're going too far away now. Where is the shrine? How do I activate this freaking shrine? I hate that they don't mark the location of the... Oh, there it is. Another glowing flower. I hate on the mini map, they don't mark if anything, if these objectives are up or below. So some things, like if you go to talk to somebody, it'll have a, an arrow up, meaning they're above you, or an arrow down, which means they're below you. For these, they don't mention it at all. How the heck? Okay. Oh my god. How am I? Oh my god. I fell. Okay, so that's what makes it difficult. Get up here. Oh, that's, that is the run. Oh, God! Don't fall off. And you gotta touch all this stuff, huh? Okay. Yeah, they, uh, they make you touch everything. All these glowing uh, orbs. Guess I should hit that plant. There we go. Nice. Got it done. Squirrel. Yep. And our objective is like right here.
Yep, that's probably where Doc is. We got all this stuff. We're clearing out some of these side stuff pretty good. Getting all over our blue iridium. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. We have an upgrade, right? For our uh, jetpack. Uh, oh, we need 50. Wait, I have 55. I can get my jetpack. My sprint. <gasps> and now I have a sprint. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Whoa. Keep your balance, Slade. Look at this. This is so dumb. I love it. Oh, I'm going to get in trouble using this, though. Look at that. And it's unlimited. I thought it would be using my uh, jetpack uh, fuel. It does not. Ha <laughs> ha I'm hitting left trigger and no break. Ah, oh, I guess it just stops. Okay. I like it. I like it. Let's get some more ammo. There we go. Let's talk to Doc. This is where we were at the beginning when we first got here. I didn't even know who Doc was. Hey, Doc. Hi. What is happening here? Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Did the Yod send you to meet with Doc? I wish I knew. The odds are being a bit vague with me. Who's Doc? I am Doc. Search no more. This is the place. Oh, Kazmir. Your old man around? Kind of. He reverted at the bottom of this lake. I tried to save him, but I can't swim and almost got reverted myself. I'm so afraid of the water. Why are you Sorry here? to hear that. You should learn to swim, and practice makes, you know, perfect. So what are you doing here, then? The place. What are you doing here? <sighs> Surely the ambassador of the Yods would know. I'm following my father's quest, of course. I wanted to pick up where Cosmere left off, so I quit my job in the treetops and spent all my Zorkins on a diving suit that doesn't really work. You're joining my quest, then? Well, that depends. Um, are you taking no for an answer? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a yes! Come, much work to be done. As my father used to say, practice makes perfect. The writing in this game is so bad, it's great. I love it. What is up, Doc? Exactly. Why would you build your cabin by a lake if you can't swim? Yeah. The Yods laugh at me because I was denied a proper conversion ceremony. They test me again and again with water, but again there's no and way again. I'm an Aloy to land. I hate water. Father hated it too. But I will have the last laugh. I will achieve my destiny. What destiny would that be? Yeah. Well, the ancients marked a nearby rock for my father to discover millions of moons later. The engraved stone foretold his only son would find an artifact in a lake. An artifact that would save Amiya from extinction. He tried to claim it for me, but water scares me even more now. Can I have a look at the rock you're talking about? My father showed it to so many people. He even made me memorize it in case it was destroyed. No one believed us. Who trusts prophecies anymore, right? Speaking of prophecies, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Ulukai. Oh, my yods! Of course! My father told me everything about the savior of Adelpha. It's you? That's what Liaz seems to think. I don't remember much of my past. The yods have planned our encounter. I will show you the engravings, Ulukai. Together, we can save Amiya on your way to saving Adelpha. Sure. Who am I to go against that level of enthusiasm? What is this relic you're looking for? That is not exactly clear to me, but Casimir told me it would save my village from the invaders, if the engravings are right. So it's a weapon. You're the Ulukai, you tell me. No bother. I trust the Yods in their great design. We must make haste though. Amiya is in danger and Hatso, our leader, can't protect us. Show me the engraved stone. Follow me. Okay, let's go, Doc. Oh, another. Here okay. it is. 
Hold on! What's the matter? You go ahead. I'm not worthy to face my father's hazardous yet. What is this? Don't touch it! It's ancient magic! What the... Chalk. Ulukai? Are you alright? Um, Dak... <laughs> you should come and have a look at this. God's almighty! You touched it! What have you done? Casimir always forbid me to... Oh... Unless the ancients were into childish doodles, I think your dad was having a bit of fun with you. It's all... It's very confusing. When was the last time you came here? I was young and naive. There is no artifact. No adventure. I have ruined my life for a false prophecy. Sometimes memories play tricks on us. You know, we see what we want to see. He lied to me. Filled my head with fairy tales. I am so stupid. I should plan my reversion now. Get it over with! Look, Casimir might have wow. elaborated on his story to make it a bit more entertaining. Kids get easily bored, There's you know. nothing in the lakes. Pretending there is won't honor my father's memory or mine. Wait a minute. Your dad didn't draw everything on this rock. There are ancient symbols here, see? I see what you're doing, but Hatso is right. I have to grow up. Have a look for yourself. See those shapes there? I think I know what they are. An X marks the spot. Whoa! There's some magic. Oh my god! You're right, Ulukai! It's a map of the lakes, and there must be something in that one. We're so close! I can feel it, partner. We're partners! <laughs> partners? Hold your horses, Doc. I was happy to help, but I have my own agenda, you know. I am so excited! You have to dive into the lake, Ulukai. You have to save Amiya. What is going on Are with the you audio in this? listening to what I just... Save me at the lake! People will write songs about this day! Let's go! Let's go! Are you liking the game, Crazy Chaos? I am loving the game. Okay. Tracking the target. Here it goes. Oh my god, it's loading up all this. Oh, there we go. Find the artifact. Uh, but yeah, I am loving it. It's cheesy in parts, but I think overall, story is very fun. It's a fun loving, not super serious, not like Ultra Dower or whatever. It's just a fun, like, running around saving the world <laughs> by helping all these guys. It's amazing. All right. So, reward, five blue Heridium. Get to the location. There we are. I think we also found that earlier. I didn't know what it was. Now we do. Now it's a storyline thing. We have to go dive in this lake with the machine that doesn't work. They didn't think about that beforehand. Come on, Doc. We're going to get murdered by this submarine or whatever you have going on. Approach the artifact. Where is this artifact? Killer birds, just what I need. I don't see anything down here. Supposed to be in the lake, right? I don't see it. Time for a swim. Hmm. 
Get to the location marked on the minimap. Okay, we're here. Approach the artifact. I don't know where the artifact is. Hey, Doc. Here you are, partner. Um... What happened to Procreana? Bad things. Focus on the good, Doc. The good. Someone canceled the conversion ceremony? The invaders did. They shut down the Daukas, the portals that connect all villages on Adelpha. Now, the trip to the Well of Essence is way too long and dangerous. Hirax, the master of ceremonies of Palana, can't perform the sacred ritual of conversion anymore. Even the reverting ceremonies have stopped. Where is the Well of Essence? Young Talans have used the Daokas to visit the Well of Essence for countless moons. It's in Shamazar, a land far, far away. You can't access it on foot. At the Well, Hirax performs their conversion ceremonies, but he hasn't been able to since the invasion. There's a whole generation of Talans who have left Kizar, but they're still unsure of their essence. It's a generational existential crisis. So that's bad, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh. A Talan's life is dictated by their essence. Now, a generation of young Talans like me have options. <laughs> it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Basically, you would go to your essence ceremony and they would tell you what you need to do. Now you don't know what to do. Tell me more about Hatso. Hatso has been the leader of Amiya for as long as I can remember. After what happened to Procriana, he doesn't want Amiya to fight back. He fears we would be reverted. But his passive strategy won't last very long. Until next time, Doc. I can't wait. Oh, this just auto kicked me out. Okay, you guys said dive? I don't see anything down here. Like, All right, I guess dive. Oh, maybe that glowing thing right there? Just maybe? Untangle this. What is this? What are we doing here? Oh my God. I don't have that jet pack. I can't believe it. What the heck? I don't have those powers. I want that jet pack. So we have the artifact. Do we have to take it back with us? Let's talk to Doc. Guess your dad wasn't the nut job people say he was. Here's your artifact. I only wish he could see this. It is. And so, I have no clue what this is. That makes two of us, but hey, it levitates. That's a start. Not sure how we can use this to fight the invaders, but let's find out together. Your destiny weaves into mine, Ulukai. My father would have been proud. The light at the engraved rock. You really think it's your father's spirit? What's a spirit? It's Cosmere's hazardous. He reverted before he could accomplish his destiny, so his hazardous lingers here, That's unable spirit. to journey to Palana until we finish what he started. Cosmere has to find peace before he reunites with the odds. Did Cosmere mention an instruction manual or anything? No. He kept repeating this would help our people. He wanted to convince Hatso. Hatso should see this! Okay. I'm gonna push this thing to Amiya. Thank oh, you, God. Ukai, for everything. I gotta push it? I gotta push that thing? Why is Amiya in danger? Our leader, Hatso, believes he can negotiate with the invaders and spare our village from their tyranny. But I see through his lies. He's been encouraging young Talans to seek job opportunities up north, but they never come back. I heard the invaders capture them in Dasan and use them for slave labor. Oh. Sounds more like trading than negotiating. This won't end well. Wise words, Ulukai. But let's not dwell on the bad. Focus on the good, like father said. 
A great treasure is awaiting the explorers. Come see me anytime. All right, we got to get rid of the village elder guy, the village leader, because he's garbage, it sounds like. We need to put the plumber in there, the, uh, the Bronx guy. Push the artifact to the village with X or B. Oh, okay, so we gotta, uh, oh, we gotta, like, pop it, okay. So, we gotta push this thing all the way to Amiya. <laughs> Just another day at the office. Little bird, get out of here. Don't need that. Oh, you can hold a restart in case you get it stuck somewhere. Oh god, all the birds! Oh my god! That's what makes it difficult. The friggin' birds! The birds trying to get me. Good lord. Alright. Give me all my bird talents here. We're gonna have a whole bunch of talents. Can I just... I can't push it. Push it real good. Okay, there we go. Of course, there's going to be more birds waiting for me over here. That's how they make it difficult. Actually really digging this game just little tiny stuff like this you know push a ball into a village oh god don't get crazy there Jason oh come on and the music that was reminding me of Fable. Not too close. Make room, my friends. Make room. I have a clear shot. Hey, Robin Hood, lower the bow, okay? I don't take orders from you. Fair enough. <laughs> Everybody, calm down. This dirty piece of trash smells terrible. I don't smell bad. Why have you brought this here, stranger? I command you to dump it back where you found it at once. Hatso, listen to me, Doc. I, we found the relic Casimir was looking for. Of course, you are behind this, you babbling simpleton. This is going to save the village from the invaders. Just like the ancients predicted. Nonsense. Do you want to get us all reverted? What? No. There is nothing to see here. Disperse before the invaders spot our gathering from the sky. Really? This guy's a jerk. Don't like the, the elder, the, uh, the chief. Not a big fan of the chief. You and your magic treasure are the talk of the town, Doc. I don't like this. I feel their suspicions. I hope the artifact is safe here. There are a lot of people in Amiya. You think someone would know what this thing is? No one knows. It's too... Wait, Nemet! He's the oldest Talon in town. He has read many scrolls, even some of the most ancient ones. Maybe he has a clue. Could you please talk to him? I have to stay here and guard the artifact. People are getting too curious, especially Azan. This thing's solid. I pushed it all the way here. It doesn't even have a scratch. I hear something inside. Something loose? Broken? I don't hear anything. It's fine, Doc. No stress. 
You're probably right, Ulukai. Come see me anytime. Let's talk to Nemet. Hello, Shamaz Nemet. You returned. <laughs> Check your smell again. Midnight, I smell great. Like fishes. <laughs> Can I ask how old you are? Older than a fresh hottie and younger than a fey tree. You are the master of being vague. I'm the master of controlling my emotions. Expect anger and rage next time you ask a male to learn that question. Didn't mean really? to offend you, Nemet. The reason I ask is this thing we dredged up from the lake, it seems really old. Like, ancient. I thought a guy with your experience uh, <laughs> came across it in a scroll or something. Hmm. I recall no description of such an object, and I've read my fair share of scrolls, both mundane and sensational. The item looks like it's from a pre-Talan era. Really? Where can I find informative scrolls? Maybe Doc can read them to me. Doc wouldn't know where to start. Most treetop inhabitants can't read, except maybe for more who took late classes. Your best chance would be to ask a scholar at the Dano Library. Yeah, I think I lost my library card. Can I borrow yours? Ah, a joke. Was it funny? Forgive me for not laughing. Humor harms the purity of the essence. Mm-hmm. Oh. Where is the Dano Library? Good question. Does it still exist? Was the Dano Library totally destroyed with the bombing of Procreana? Or does just a sliver still remain? You should go and find out. Were all the scholars, uh, reverted to? There must be survivors. I heard the assistant of the head librarian dodged a reversion the day the invaders unleashed their wrath upon Procreana. If he's alive, he must be very, very old. Sounds like I should find him soon, then. Who is he? His name is Kureg. His ears were already shot when I was borrowing scrolls in my young age. I can't imagine the bombs helped his hearing. He might be the best hope to understand your artifact. He spent his whole life studying old scrolls that are now lost forever. Mm -hmm. Kureg, huh? I'll try to find him. Thanks, Nemet. I would say good luck, stranger. But you make your own luck. Remember that. Yes, yeah. have you heard about this Kureg guy? I was about to call you Ulukai. I made a strange discovery. And since you have to go to Procreana, I'm activating a Daoka so we can talk face to face. All right. Oh, jumping in the first Dao Canal. Let's meet. If they don't make a coffee joke around Keurig, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh, an active Daoka has been marked on your map. Oh, we have another one. Oh my god, she's way up there. Oh, Priorcana. Okay. You can now take the new Daoka quickly to access that place. Yep. If they don't make a coffee joke, I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, I found a machine with little cups. Exactly. <laughs> it has small containers. We don't know what they Ulukai, do. You made it. How did you turn that on? It's the strangest thing. Remember where my Dolatai got abducted the moon we met? I found a Dioka core at that exact location, almost as if someone put it there on purpose. That woman I saw, she must have used the core as a friendly gesture. I think she wants to negotiate with you. Negotiate? Do you know how many talents the invaders have reverted in the last couple of moons alone? I won't fall into their sneaky traps. I don't know what to tell you, Liaz. The Yod send me those visions, and I don't know if I can trust them. Anyway, thanks for the trip. Can you show me where I can find Kureg? The old librarian. You should find him at what's left of the Dano Library. That's a big library. Look at that. That's huge. I've only met him once after the bombing. Good luck talking to him. Wait, why would I need luck? <laughs> You'll see. Is he grouchy? So now we can travel here.
Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. I guess we're going to take that one. Actually, er, let's look at what I could do for upgrades. Um, I only have 10 purple. Can't do anything with that. Yeah, I need a whole bunch of blue. I only have 35 blue, so I can't really do anything with that. Air dodge. Uh, well, airborne glide. Oh, I have a glide on there. Okay, that's good. I like the jetpack upgrades. I'm going to be really excited about that. I like that it just bounce around. Grab that. It's so good. They're coming for me. Oh, worst stench ever. Where's my, uh, oh my God. There's a lot of stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit more difficult area. Jeez. Uh, talons and stuff. Hello, little emu. This is how I fly in my dreams, dude. I I can't wait to get more upgrades for that thing. It's gonna be crazy. I need some more ammo. <laughs> Wow, look at that. I like it. Just charging shots. So if I go after the uh, the robots, I can just snipe them. Oh, I got a precious ore. Ooh. Can I get in here? Don't want to mess with this quantum fence. Okay, so I cannot get in here, huh? Dang it. It's basically a blaze javelin now. Yeah, the the uh the rifle is basically a blaze javelin. Except for it's more useful. <laughs> Cuz I don't have to charge up the shots, so. Let's land. Land? So if I uh, pull out my, uh, my thing, I could just literally shoot whatever I want, but I could also charge it up and fire. So I like that. I like the ability to use one or the other. You don't have to. You're not forced to just charge it every time. Yep, not a big fan. I think I'm supposed to go over here, right? Oh, dang it.
Uh, I see a blue flower. I can pop off that one. Oh, God! Thank God for the, uh, the stopper. This place has seen better days. Procreana's master Daoka is the key to our capital, Ulukai. Activate it as fast as you can. My Dolotai guardians have tracked the core to the location I sent to your map. Well, let's hope it's still there. Thanks, Leah. It's a long statue. Wait, what? No, Jason is Iron Man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, traitor. Hi there. What do you want? What do you want? All right. Norn. I can sell some stuff. Like I got some precious ore. The gold. <laughs> okay. It is certainly valuable. I have a feeling I could, I could, all the stuff on the top row I could just sell. It's not a resource. It's just valuable items. A golden mushroom, a very shiny and valuable mushroom. I assume this is all for selling. I'm just nervous. I don't want to sell something like resin. That sounds like something I might use for crafting as well. Oh, see, I wish it would just straight up tell you only used for selling or only used for crafting or whatever. What is this? I don't know what that is. It highlights it, but it doesn't do anything. I wonder what that is. Oh, no, I'm just purple. Wait a minute. I got purple pollen all over me. I like that. Give me all that purple pollen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Make me purple. Shimaz around here. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> hey, I know I look funny to you, but you look pretty funny to me. No, no, you you look fine. Just fine. It's just that. <laughs> is he high? <laughs> okay, this is leading nowhere. I'm out of here. No, no, wait. I am Yizo, the laughing Shimaz. I laugh. So I can forget the pain. <laughs> what pain? Wow. The pain of having my once bustling home of Procreana reduced to an empty ruin of loneliness and regret. <laughs> Laughter okay. is the best medicine, I guess. Yeah, okay. A little much on that. What do you do here? Well, as Procreana's Shamaz, I used to heal all sorts of Talans. Even poor, badly burned wretches like yourself. I'm not burned, but good to know you're a healer. You mean <clears throat> this is your real face? What's wrong with it? <laughs> it is your real face. <laughs> now, that's funny. <laughs> wow. Wow. Thanks, buddy. This place doesn't look so active. What happened? The invaders arrived in their big metal ships. Dropped bombs from the sky, killed many Talans. What was once the center of wisdom for all of Adelva is now. Well, look at it. <laughs> yeah, that's a real laugh riot. Heard a lot about the Yods. Do you have any idea of who or what they are? The Yards are the forces that watch us from above and give all Talans their essence. Our lives and destinies are connected to the Yards. Yours too. <laughs> I'm getting a vibe of, um... Is that Shea Gorath? Probably not. I don't think he is. Can you be serious one second and heal me? <laughs> okay, don't move. 
<laughs> Time to go. No. So soon. You didn't even have a laugh. <laughs> That's not him. His voice is different. All right, let's not share Gora. Oh. Uh... Let's talk to the uh, university dean. We're going to enroll in university. Happy to meet someone here. What's up? Up. Uh, I hope there's nothing up there. I'm afraid to look. My head's still ringing from the bombs that destroyed our beautiful city of Procriana. Well, you're safe with me. I'm Slade. Cutter Slade. Cutter Slade. You can call me Reefar. It's a title more than a name. But I've worked all my life to obtain it. What's it mean? The Reefar is the head of the university. Procriana is Adelpha's cradle of knowledge. Or was. I remember the dean of my college. Kept calling me a slacker because of a movie he saw. That old scarecrow made me hate school. No offense. None taken, but are you aware that we don't accept new students? Yeah. I figured as much. Yeah. Uh, Keurig! Yeah, let's talk about Keurig. You gotta hang with Kureg. You two are cut from the same cloth. Kureg? <laughs> Old and pretentious. We disagree on everything. He's stuck in the past, <laughs> but I am looking to the future. And what do you see? Science. Progress. Old scrolls won't lead us anywhere. We should write new ones and keep evolving. There is still so much knowledge to be discovered. What are you studying? Yeah. My predecessor was on the verge of a significant breakthrough, but he got reverted on the moon of the attack. I have tried to pick up where he left off, but... Let me guess. You need more funding? <laughs> I don't have any Zorkins to spare. No. It's Kurek. That old wrinkled morag. The bombs not only damaged his ears, but destroyed his reason. He collected my predecessor's notes and won't let me near them unless I pay an insane amount of Zorkins. He has no right. So it is about money. You don't strike me as a guy sitting on a fortune. I could trade the notes for other scrolls, like in any library. But the university has been completely ransacked by thieves. There is not a single scroll left. You're both adults. Have you tried talking to him? Have you? Kurek doesn't understand anything. He knows that my discoveries on Asiors would make me famous. So he's blocking me until he comes up with a breakthrough of his own. What has he ever discovered except the mold on his precious scrolls? Okay. Tom says, is this a Bethesda game? It feels like Starfield. Almost. It's more in line with like old school, like if you uh, played the original Mass Effect, kind of like that. Um, as anyway. yours. Sorry, I'm not from here, and the tourist kiosk was probably blown up with some other parts of this town. You haven't noticed them buzzing around? These little creatures secrete a corrosive acid, and I believe I found a way to control their swarms. Oh, really? Okay. You think you could turn these alien bees into a weapon? Now you got my attention. Now. As yours can melt anything. Even metal. The Dolatai Guardians would have stood a better chance against invaders if they had swarms of Asiors on their side. But I couldn't complete my research in time. What do you need to continue? There are Kalmar bushes planted around the university that temper the Asiors' aggressive behavior. You can always use them to protect yourself from Asiors. If you bring me Asior larvae, I can use my research to breed them here and grow them into strong, domesticated helpers. So they could help me fight? In theory, I can focus their attacks on a specific target, thanks to the pheromones secreted by their queen. I just need a little more time. Okay, so that's a new weapon. <laughs> you mentioned larvae. Yes. The more larvae you bring me, the more Asiors I could breed and control. Collect as many larvae as you can 
in the Asir's territory. Also, if you could get my predecessor's notes off Kureg, they would speed my progress and strengthen the swarm. Can you show me the queen? I don't have one. They're protected by their swarm. Too dangerous to capture. There has to be a way. I can see you share my vigor for science. I've been working on a theory. Okay. If you grab the pulp in the hive, the queen will chase you. Run back here before the pulp dries out, and I should be able to isolate the queen at the university. Okay. Did you ever get a chance to test your theories? I feel like I'm gonna get stung. Look for <laughs> the Kalmar bushes, like the ones around the university. In theory, they should protect you from a swarm of lethal assures. In theory, there was a time when scholars like you believed the Earth was flat. I don't know about the Earth, but Adelpha is flat. Oh boy. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, dude's voice reminds me of Dumbledore. Maybe I don't know. I haven't, I haven't uh, watched too many of those movies. I think I saw the uh, first three of those, but I don't know for sure. How can I get the notes? Talk to Kurek. I abandoned the hope of having a reasonable chat with him. Screaming in his ear won't help either. Those notes will facilitate my work and help me to grow the larvae faster. Looks like the city took a big hit. After the Dolatar Guardian's ill-fated assault, the invaders struck suddenly. They took no prisoners and reverted all the recreators they could identify. Most of the survivors abandoned the city after that. How did you survive? I was ready to revert, but the bombs spared me. I became Dean of the University after my predecessor was reverted, along with our chief and many of my students who were running to their homes. But my home is where my research is. So I stayed here. Sorry, I forgot. Who are you again? <laughs> Rifar, the Dean of Prokiana University. See you, Rifar. I like- Of course you see me. We both have eyes. <laughs> I like how they give you an option of who are you again? Just in case, like if you come back here after doing a whole bunch of missions and you forgot who everyone was, you can kind of get a refresher. That's pretty good. Oh, look at the little kind of... Look, I want one of these as a pet. All right, we have a merchant. Oh, excuse me, wrong button. I didn't expect to find a merchant here. I can't be called a merchant until the Daoka is restored. I have nothing to sell. I'll see what I can do. Yods, no, I can't wait to get back in business. Thanks, man. See you later. Thanks, man. <laughs> I, okay, so he's not really a uh, merchant. He doesn't have anything to sell. Let's go to the upgrader. Let's see if I can upgrade anything. Hey, buddy. I think we can find an arrangement. So green heridium supply upgrade. Ooh, we need more money for that. Okay, I will start selling some of this stuff if I if I want to get more ammo. Because the green heridium is how much ammo you have, how many shots you can do. So I'm going to need to sell some of this stuff for sure. Dang it. So now I should have enough. Yep. Oh, yeah, we have enough. Uh, green heridium supply upgrade one, and then number two. Can I just skip one and go to two? Probably not. Nope, yeah, see, it doesn't matter which one you select. They both give you the same amount of upgrades, so you need to do both of them. Um, plant supply upgrade. Increase the amount of plants that can be carried. Increase that. Okay, Talon Beacon Cooldown. Reduces the cooldown time between each beacon use. I don't even know what that is. Uh, potion Supply Upgrade. Potion Supply. Greater sub Potion. Buddha Supply. I don't know what that is. The amount of Butas that can be carried. Well, I'm going to need the Heridium, so we'll do that. And I don't have enough money for anything else. Yep, I've 
Used up all my cash. Dang it. That's all right. Upgraded my, uh, my ammo though. So that's good. Can I, can I activate this, uh, I think I need to get the uh, core to, uh, yep. I need to upgrade this do Duke, uh, Doaka core. Doaka? Oh, I just realized the purple bushes. That's what uh, basically saves you from the bees or the, uh, the acidic insects. That's what that purple stuff is. All right. Now I know. Let's talk to this guy. Where you at? I can do about 25 shots before I'm on my... Mm. <laughs> uh, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, exactly. I forgot. Who are you again? Can I talk to you? Are you returning a scroll? If you're late, it's going to cost you. It's surprising to meet a librarian around these parts. Barbarian? Yours? No. I'm Professor Curing, the librarian. If you want to continue this conversation, the Dana Library accepts donations. <laughs> Are you going to pay him? I heard you have some research on nasty little creatures called Asiors. Don't put them in your soup. That's yours a deadly, you fool. Read my lips. Research. Research, yes. I have highly detailed notes on Asios from the former Refar. Wait, is the new Refar sending you? Refar, you say? Huh. Never heard the name. It's not a name, it's a title. The head of the University of Procreana. Can I have a look at those notes? Bring me scrolls that belong to the Dano Library. For each scroll, I will exchange one page of Asior's research. But whatever you do, do not share them with Rifa. I'll promise. Of course not. <laughs> Personal use only. I'll peaky promise on that one. <laughs> That's what I said, Jason. The purple pollen protects you. Yes, yes, it does. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Yes, thank you, Emilia, guys. You and me. Let's go. Why would I go to Palana? What? No, listen. Emia, Morax. Mmm, delicious. Not? Whatever. They need your help with a giant rock of some sort that is at least as old as your ears, pal. Capiche? No, no, no. I don't need more eggs. Too sweet for my teeth. Too sweet. Okay, you coming with me to Emia now? Yes? Yes! Hallelujah. Let's go. Go? Where to? I want to make a donation to the library. No, thank you. Fruit upsets my stomach. But the library needs donations. Zorkin, stranger. What happened to Procreana? Yes, I have lived in Procreana all my life. Good lord, this guy. <laughs> Don't you get it? The trees, the fruits, and Mia. Do you expect me to walk to Emia? My old legs won't allow it. I haven't let Procreana since the Dauka went down. When a Talon reaches my age, Every step counts. No Dauka, no Keurig. I have the Dauka. Ready to go. Oh, the one outside. Okay, I gotta fix the one in town. He doesn't even want to... Oh, my God. He doesn't want to walk like 50 feet. All right. Okay. See you later, then. Don't you curse at me. <laughs> Don't you curse at me. I need to retrieve the uh, core from the outpost near here. All right. Nice find. There we go. Heck yeah. All right. I thought I was going to be able to get that done quick, but I guess not. I have to open up the portal for him.
So there should be... There you go, right there. The core is above. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. And we have that one shielded. There we go. Green Acres, the video game. He is old, senile, and deaf. What? <laughs> All right. So let's do some of these other trials while we're here. Oh, wait a minute. We haven't done to the uh, Dolotai, Dolotai camp. Yeah, we have all this stuff around here. Gotta get some upgrades going. What is there? Let's do this one. That way I get some uh, Heridium, or Blue Heridium. That way I can uh, upgrade my jetpack, because I want to upgrade my jetpack. You and your magic treasure are the talk of the town, Doc. I don't like this. I feel their suspicions. I hope the artifact is safe here. I need to visit Procriana. There's an old scholar there named Kureg. He could tell us what this thing is. I'll be waiting here, despite Hatso's efforts. He is so afraid the invaders will spot the artifact from the sky and shoot at it. We're getting closer, Ulukai. Don't you feel it? I'm not sure I even want to feel it, but we got to see this through. <laughs> yeah. Until next wanna. time, Doc. I can't wait. Good lord. Perfect. So we have... They're on me. See ya! Can't stop me! I do like the jetpack. That's pretty good. And when we get a better upgrade, it'll do even more. Dang it! Wrong way. Hmm, another glowing flower. Let's do it. Let's do our trial. Platforming, I'll take it. Oh god, they stopped me. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. They're trying to stop me. Oh! Dive it in. Don't hit the red ones. The red ones are bad. Wrong way, Slade. Oh my god. Thank God, these ones aren't timed. Jeez. I'm sucking terribly. Guess I should hit that plant. There we go. Yeah! I have enough? I have 70 now. That should be enough to unlock something, right? Oh, I need 100. Dang it. I need 100. I thought it was 50. What about combat? Oh, I need my purples for combat stuff. Dang it! Melee damage. Melee damage more. Wait a minute. Wrong target, bird. <laughs> you yelling at the bird? Sleep. Okay. <laughs> you picked the wrong oh, target, bird. Good. That was a waste. There we go. Let's 
so good. I do love that the uh, jetpack doesn't use any fuel to do that, just for jumping. And just do this all day. Excuse me. A lot of golden mushrooms around here. I like that. Let me grab all of what I can. Interesting find. There we go. That looks a bit like Avatar. It has very strong elements of Avatar. Very strong elements of Avatar. There. The chest plant shouldn't be far away. Got it, we're done. They kept telling me I'm going the wrong way. It's like, no, I'm going the right way. What is that sound? I don't like that at all. That's supposed to be a snake or something? Oh, there's another hermit shack over here. Oh, yeah, we were looking for that earlier. The hermit shack. And there's another portal over here. <laughs> I love the, you can just boost your way out of it. I love it. All right, let's. That's one. Deadly perfume. Done and done. And we just have to go clear it. I like it. See, this is the kind of game that I like. It's just, it, it can be repetitive, but I also like the fact that they have tons of stuff to do. Just tons of stuff to do. So there's always like a, uh, a thing to open or destroy or whatever. Killing the spiders. That is a leaf shake. Uh, how does it, how cool does the jetpack look? You playing on console or PC? I am playing on PC, but I will say the game is not very optimized on PC right now. So I have a, uh, a 7,900 XTX. It's an AMD card, but it's a really, really good. The, uh, but I had to turn down the graphics to medium. Part of that is because when I'm streaming and playing, it puts a lot of stress on it, but also it feels like whenever you get into a town or something, the, the, somewhere where there's a lot of um, a commotion or a lot of aliens, there's just the frame rate just drops like crazy. So in order to keep it all at 60, I, I turn it down to medium. You could probably go it away with high if you're not streaming. If you have a really beefy card. But again, I have a beefy uh, video card, so a GPU. So that does help a lot. Oh, look at it. Give me that purple stuff. So here's the hermit shack. Look at this thing. It's not a shack. Look at this. It's like a mansion. What the? 
You know what? There you go. Where are the other ones at? Nothing? Hey there. I know you. Oh, really? Yeah? Because I don't know you. But it could also be that I don't remember you. The odds messed up with my head somehow. I'm Mazum, and I was a Shamas the last time we met. I've abandoned the robe to dedicate my life to the art of patience. Oh, and okay. I'm definitely not an artist. How do you kill the time here all by yourself? I solve puzzles. We did it together once, but you probably don't remember. Uh, that's right, I, I don't. If you find puzzle pieces like this one, please bring them to me, and I will assemble them for you. These are electronic components. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I could get something useful out of them. Very useful indeed. To kill time. All right. Do you have any idea what you're doing with these electronic components? I'm patiently assembling them to create something. Create what? An assembled puzzle. <laughs> the pieces are scattered all around, though. I need you to find them and bring them back here so I can kill more time. See you next time. No problem. I have more. And how does the uh, jetpack or uh, how does the uh, gunplay look or the gunplay feel? I like it. The one thing I will say I have a problem with Paul is the camera is smooth, but your aiming is connected to your camera movement. So if I increase my camera speed, my normal camera speed, it increases my gun movement. So by default, we ran into this at the beginning of the uh, stream. By default, my camera sensitivity was set to one. And so it's really, really, it's normal. It feels good when you're moving the camera normally, but when you're aiming down the sights, you it feels really slow. And I had to speed up. I had to basically make my camera sensitivity a little bit higher to increase the uh, the looking down the sights. There is no separate looking down the sights camera. I wish they did that. Break out your uh, looking down the sights because if I pop it up to like th four, or let's do five. Oh wait, er, five. If I looked on the sights, it actually feels really smooth and fast. But my camera is so quick. It's like, oh my god. So they're both locked together, which kind of sucks. So you have to move one to move both. So I'm keeping mine. Hey, you know what? We could probably move it up to, uh, let's move it up to a two. That feels good. But yeah, so you have to increase the sensitivity to do both, which kind of... Hopefully there's a patch to fix that. I have a puzzle piece. Hopefully he... Talk about a treasure, huh? Hey, Mizum. Welcome back. The audio is on the other hand. No problem. What? <laughs> okay. Did I get a new upgrade? I did not. Oh, well. So we cleared out that. Oh yeah, we, we're just clearing stuff out. We we do need to find this. So there's a piece around here that I can use to teleport. I just don't know where that is. Do you need a, a part for everything or every portal? Let's look. World Daokas. Daokas outside the villages can be activated by interacting with their core. You can fast travel to any activated Daoka from anywhere using the Daoka map. So can I can I mess with the core? Oh, so I don't need okay, I can activate these ones that are outside a, a city as long as I uh, activate them. Oh yeah, I, you don't need a special core for that. Beautiful. I thought you were going to need a core. Well, in that case, I could just start activating all of them. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I dare you to insult Jason. Ah, what are the different color collectibles after you kill something for? Oh, that is going to be your ammo. So the green is for your pistol. 
So you'll see I have a green marker here, and my red is for my rifle. So that's what the green and the red crystals are. And then you'll run into other ones, like other enemies will drop special color items. And so they'll drop like these purple, the nano cells. That is what you need to upgrade your equipment. So if I want to upgrade my gun, I need purple nano cells in order to do that. If I want to upgrade the modules, my, my specific parts, I need purple nano cells to upgrade that. So each thing has its own specialty. So you need purple for a lot of upgrades. The green is for your ammo for your pistol. The red is for ammo for your uh, rifle. And then you have blue, which is going to be your upgrades for your uh, jetpack, you know, or your combat abilities. So the purple are here. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Jetpack. Sorry. Jetpack needs blue. So there's different colors, meaning uh, used for different things. And they're more rare depending on what they are. Like, it's really rare to find the blue uh, crystals because they're only used for your uh, jetpack upgrades. Let's see what I can do here. I want to get over here. Can I get over there? Let's see. I can! Haha! <laughs> Suck it! I bet you I can't get up there, though. Because I can only, I can only uh, boost on the ground because I don't have any upgrades for my jetpack to go higher. So, yeah, I have a feeling I probably can't get up there. I need a jetpack to go... I need to upgrade my jetpack to go up. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, maybe. No, I don't see any... Yeah, I don't think there's any way for me to get up there. Maybe over here? Hello, weird alien thing. Alien frog looking guy. Is this where we first started? This is where we first started the game. Oh, okay. That's what this is. Got it. This is where we first started. Nah, no space left. Oh, inventory's full. Dang it. Okay, so this is where we first started. I hope you're enjoying yourself on this game. I am alien. I am. I'm really enjoying this game a lot. So it's just my flavor, my uh, my style of game. I really, really dig. Open world where you're just running around and you're uh, you're uh, collecting things, you're solving puzzles. There's a little bit of platforming, a little bit of like time trials kind of stuff. It's really, really cool. Not super difficult, but difficult enough to make it a, a challenge. Yeah, there's nothing here. <laughs> there's nothing here. I think is it gonna make me do the, all the stuff again? Or is it just locked? Looks like the door is just locked, okay. I'll just go this way then. Uh, if you're like a challenge in collecting resources, solving puzzles, you should get Avatar Frontier Pandora. I'm probably going to do that now. I mean, after playing this, I'm getting... I'm getting kind of an itch to do that. I should go back. I meant to do it when it came out, but I didn't. I never did. I never did. I should have. Never did, though. Aw, oh, dang it. Not enough. Yeah, there's nothing here. <laughs> I came over here for nothing. I didn't know what this island was. I didn't realize this was the starting, like, tutorial island. Is 
But I mean, now we know. I need to activate that one. Oh, really fun game and fun to explore. Trust me, Jason, you'll love it. I'm going to probably start playing that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go activate this one. I need to get some more blue heridium. That way I can upgrade my jetpack so I can go higher. I don't know. Is that the next one? It is. I can do an air dodge. I can also do the uh, sprint. But oh, no, glide. I need a hundred for that. And then I get another battery. Another battery. And then gravity helper. Oh, look at that. Just float. And now glide booster. That's what I need. I, oh my god. I need to get way down here in order to get the glide booster. And I assume it gets hot. It gets more and more expensive as you get farther down the tree. So it's probably going to take a lot. Dang it. Excuse me. You know what? I'm gonna snipe these guys. Give me that purple, yep. Dang it, missed him. Did he just go down? Yep, need that uh, blue nano cells. I think we got all that, okay. That pack is pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm playing Avatar's moment. And I'm loving it. Oh god, you guys are making me jealous. I'm gonna have to go do that. <laughs> nope, it's full. There are just too many games out there, guys. Dragon's Dogma comes out on Friday. I'm like, oh my god, Light uh, Lightyear uh, is out. I'm like, oh my, there's too much to play. There's too much to play. Really? I like the jetpack recharges pretty quickly, so you're not getting upgrades to make it recharge faster. You're just getting upgrades to give it double jumps. Like I have one battery, then I got two, so I can jump twice instead of just once. I like that. That kind of a tree is really good. I hate it when it's too tedious and you're like, oh god, I gotta recharge my my speed as well as my charges. Need some Jason clones. I do. But then I wouldn't experience it. It would be another Jason. I wanna I wanna we just need more time in the day. I need like a 50 hour day. That way I'm good. And then no sleep needed. So it says whenever we do the Gork, we should get more upgrades, and I have only gotten one. <laughs> so where is all this other stuff going? Like all the uh, materials we've gotten. Key items. We've gotten module parts. Parts of a weapon module can be combined to a fully module or weapon module by Mazum. Oh, what the? I was there. They wouldn't take them. They got all this kind of stuff here. All right. Up an egg. Let me take the egg. Yeah, these are supposed to uh, basically give me more power, more health, whatever, but I haven't gotten any. Not in a while. The first one did, but I haven't gotten any after that. There. The chest plant shouldn't be far away. Let's do it. I 
guessing purple's bad. That's not how it's supposed to be, but okay. Iridium. I like there's no fall damage at all in the game. Beautiful. Oh, I have an upgrade, huh? Okay, let's go check it. So I have a hundred, so I can get one of these upgrades. I can do a glide. I think I want a glide. I want the glide. Oh my god, 200 for the battery jump. Oh my. Oof. But I have a glide now. I've inhaled poison gas that smell better than that plant. Oh, these ones are hardcore. Alien spiders. My other... No? Where's my other, uh, nest? Oh, there it is. Okay. I couldn't see it because it's red. Gross. And so, yeah, doing this should give me more. Could be useful later on. One gork. I have a ton of gorks, I guess. I have six gorks. A gork a core extracted from the corruption's viscera. It's hard to think someone would have a, any use for this, or is it? So there's someone I have to go to, and it'll, that is how I'll get my upgrades, I guess. All right, I guess. Okay, so I have the glider. Let's get up really high. We're, I want to use this glider. Oh, what is this light year game you're implying? Oh, dude, it's called Light Year The Last Frontier or something like that. Just came out, I think, last week. So it's on uh, Steam. I don't know if it's anywhere else. Let me let me look that up for a second because I have it on my uh, I have it on my wish list for Steam. So, Lightyear, let me look real fast. Lightyear Frontier. Lightyear Frontier. It came out... Oh, no, no, sorry. It came out yesterday. It is basically a survival game where you're in a mech and you're just collecting resources and trying to farm and build on a uh, foreign planet. It looks really, really cool. I gotta check that out. It's in early access, so it's probably not on a... Not on a PlayStation, because they generally don't like early access games. Let's see. Oh, nice! Oh, that's a good glider as well! That's good! Holy cow! It's not like the enshrouded glider where you only go for like five feet. Look at this! That's pretty good. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go over here to the uh, EMA uh, outpost. Look at that. This is a good glider. Holy moly. Can I, uh, can I jump with this? Oh, getting too slow. Oh, yeah. If you slow down too much, it just collapses. Okay. Excuse me, everybody.
It's free on Game Pass. It is free on Game Pass. Lightyear is free on Game Pass for sure. If you have Game Pass, 100% check it out. It's, you know, it, well, I say free. You have to pay for your Game Pass, but you know what I mean. It's no extra cost. It's included with your Game Pass. I guess let's do the Essence Shrine. We haven't done one of these, I don't think, right? Have we done one? Oh, yeah, we did one, but we... we It's a time trial, so... Definitely got to be ready for that. And I think we tried to do this one, but we couldn't find, find out where it was. Yeah, this is the one we tried to do, and we couldn't find out how to do it. Like, there's literally a uh, door to open this thing. Where the heck is the mechanism? Is it down here? Has to be down here, right? Interesting find. Where is that thing? I'm, I, get, I feel like I'm too far away at this point. Like, this is not where the mechanism is going to be. Fair enough, you cowardly person. What? <laughs> well, I am rude enough to insult Jason, but why would he? He's such a nice guy. Well, I appreciate that, Richard. <laughs> uh, where's the mechanism for this thing? Is that it? Oh my god, is this it over here? I see some kind of glowing thing. Really? <laughs> so these are all on a time. The uh these ones are on a timer. Oh my god, what the- Oh, I should have used my glider on that. Son of a- Yeah, because I have to touch it or else it won't- Hmm. Alright, let's see. Can I get it? Oh my god, with Who nine seconds that? to spare. <laughs> yeah, nine seconds to spare. Stronger now. Maximum health increase. Nice. Got that one done. Even though I messed it up, I still got it. Woo-wee! We have another teleport over here. Or portal, whatever. Let's go this way. We Dolatai Guardians are blessed with the Fey Essence. This is the way the Yods have chosen for us. What's yours? Uh, my people don't have those sort of things. Everybody has an essence. Have you been to the Well of Essence? Even if I did, I don't remember it. It feels like a different life now. Think of it as a new beginning. Yeah, I don't overthink things. I'm more an action kind of guy. That's why the Talans need you, Ulakai. Mm hmm, because I'm an action guy. <laughs> oh, Catalabs? I have no idea. Yeah, me too. Usually it's to fill out an empty ish game. What? Oh, I hate timed run challenges. Yeah, but I feel like they don't overdo it with this one. It's not everything is timed. Every, you know, you have specific ones that are timed. Like, this one is not timed. It's just, hey, get to the end. So I, I can appreciate it when it's not all of them. If it was all of them, I'd be like, okay. That's just more irritating. Another glowing 
flower. These ones are just, hey, get to the end. Platforming. I like it. Oh, God. Way, Slade. I just screwed that one up. All right, let's do it again. open that chest plant whatever <laughs> that chest plant that looks like a tower or something what is this Shot, mofo. <laughs> nope, it's full. You guys can't handle me. body went right through the ground. He can't handle it. Obviously. Language! <laughs> and there's more leaf shake sounds, at least. I don't... Didn't bug out this time. That is true. What's going on here? I think we cleared this out. That wasn't that hard. Okay, I thought it was going to be way more difficult. This was a simple one, I guess. I don't see anything up here. Nope, nothing. Don't stall out. Dang it. Oh, and it goes right into my jet. Oh, I like it. I like it. it goes right into my jetpack. Beautiful. Dude, I can just... See, this is like soothing, relaxing to me. Just doing some busy work. I know some people don't like it, but man, I am really enjoying this. This is fun. Oh, Paul, you have 20 units. Uh, especially flying ones uh, through gates or circles, just like cause. Oh, you're like just cause. Yeah, those got ridiculous. This is a new plant, red? Or crystal? Precious red flower, okay. Oh, worst stench ever. Don't you do it. Game kind of a hiccup there for a second. Where the heck does this guy go? Well, you get a punch, buddy. There, you get that. Don't mess with me. Fun to watch. Thank you, Jason. Well, I'm, it's fun playing, at least for me. I love it. See, I just... I'm one of those guys. I will go around and I'll just clear off all sections of a map. Like, I need to go through and get all the stuff. And collect everything. I love doing that. And it's soothing. Uh, got a temple. Ooh, okay. 
Oh, I bet you I can't activate this. Uh, yeah. I need to uh, probably get a special one for that. So let's get down in here. Are we gonna go down here? Yeah, let's go. Let's see if I can even activate the portal. I bet you I can't. Look at this! Oh yeah, speed. Oh, that's where I came from. Okay, that's where I started. Can I even activate this? <gasps> I can, thank God. Woo! I thought it was going to be a special one that I needed a, a core for. There we go. So that's where we started. That's where the game where we uh, loaded in. I like it. What is that? You mean the Gandar Temple? On this side of Adelpha, you'll find one temple for each of the four essences. They're the oldest structures on the planet, and the Talans didn't build them. Who did that? No one really knows. We believe the ancients left them behind, just like the Daokas. Daokas and temples shared the same architecture, and they are connected to the Yod's realm in ways we don't fully comprehend. So who does comprehend then? Essences have a strong presence in the temples. Talans from all over Adelpha used to visit them before the creation of Palana. Anatok was the first master of ceremonies who built Palana way before my cycles. He told his contemporary Darsham keepers that he had found a way to contact the ancients. It is said that soon after he made this claim, he disappeared Whoa. one moon and never returned. These scrolls were lost with the destruction of the Dano Library in Procriana. Did you get a chance to read the scrolls before they got lost? No. But Zokrim told Yon what the scroll said, and Yon told me. So one moon, I hope I can tell my own daughter. Dolotai guardians are the protectors of Adelpha, which means we are also the guardians of its oldest legends and traditions. So it says that I'm missing something. Missing my skill, energy. Oh, I need three jumps, not just two. I only have two. That's what it is. Later, Carmen! All right, Valiant Gargoyles down. Time for a movie! Nice, Carmen. Very freaking awesome. Oh, speaking of that, man, we've been going for over five hours, you guys, so I think I'm going to call it here. I am really, really liking this game. It's definitely not for everyone. It has a little bit of jankiness to it. It's a... I would say it's a really, really good RPG that probably would have came out in, like, 2005, 2008 that kind of time frame amazing game i'm really digging it so and i mean we've we've been playing for five hours and we've just done this like there is all this other stuff so this is a good like deep game i think well worth the price if you're interested in this kind of stuff well worth it you could probably play it you know get a good amount of time out of it i don't know how long the story is who knows there's a lot of side stuff to do there's a lot of open areas to go through i like it this is freaking awesome. So really, really happy. I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are as well. And uh, we need to raid somebody. Who are we going to raid? Who's online right now? Let me look. Um, We have nobody online. What? Oh, wait a minute. Action is. Action Pants. I've, I've raided him a lot because he's the only one who plays this, le this late. And he's playing in Shrouded. Okay. You know what? I think that should be a... That's a good raid. So, if you've not played in Shrouded or you're interested in Shrouded, Action Pants, APG, Action Pants Gaming. He's playing it right now. We're going to go raid him. And so, hopefully, you guys had fun. Hit that like button before we leave and show uh, APG some love playing in Shrouded today. So, uh, I'll see you guys over in uh, Action Pants uh, stream over there. So, I'll see you guys there. And, oh, yeah, guys, remember, tomorrow we'll be doing a Heather stream on Valheim. We're going to be... Looking, I think the plan is we're going to be looking for the merchant so we can get our belt. 
And I mean, maybe we'll do the uh, the uh, mountain boss in Valheim tomorrow, depending on you know the time frame and all we're doing tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow, and if not, I'll see you guys on Friday. Maybe we'll do more of this because I I'm really digging this game. I'm really liking it. So see you guys next time. <laughs>